other suckers. Are you enjoying the suckening? Yes. Did you enjoy my last campaign, Blood in the Bayou? Yes. Well, this is the last weekend to get the Blood in the Bayou Camp Galloway shirt. It's super limited edition and the pre-orders are closing at midnight forever on December 3rd, which I think is literally tomorrow. So if you haven't, please go to jrwishow.com and get yours quick. It's comfy, it's cozy, it's got an absolutely ridiculously cool design. And this is probably the only piece of Blood in the Bayou merch that we're ever gonna make. So don't miss it. Go, go, go. JRWIshow.com. Now buckle up, because this is going to suck. What's sucking, everyone? And welcome to our first real episode of The Suckening. I'm your sucky teller, Slimesicle, here joined by my, my suck patriots, my slurp comrades. Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. Hello. We're we're all in the same room now together. Uh, I can touch Charlie. And we will right now. Oh, 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 oh that's going. good. Oh, we're going. Added some little sounds for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're all in my basement right now of the uh, of the slum pound. The dungeon. The dungeon. The dungeon. Um, and uh, this was this was pretty cool. I could look at. I can look so at. There's people. like bats in the roof. Yeah. Charlie has set up for us a, a, a nice big table, some red tablecloth. Yeah. There's like a door in the corner that says "very scary skeleton." Got a ghost in a can. Yeah. <laughs> there's a a real human heart pulsing on the. Oh, table. that's mine. That's mine. Put that down, please, 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 please. bro. I'm beaten, bro. I'm beaten, bro. I'm beaten. Please don't. I've got a little, yeah, little right pal here, here a little buddy, a uh, little rat. Bought that lamp. From uh, Lowe's they, they can't for hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, they Lowe's, cannot see this. Oh, uh, there's there's a, there's a there's a baby who's very chapped. Put a little baby on the table that has his lights. Eye, uh, his eyes light up sometimes. Oh, that's cool. So we are in the vibe. Are you, dear listener? Yeah, turn off the down. lights. Turn off all the lights. Close your eyes. Stand up. Go to sleep. Spin around. Wet dream. Go to a happy place. Go to your happy place. Tell me now, your dreams. I'm in a field. Yeah, but yes, you are. There's something coming towards me something it's, it's it's getting closer to you oh it's a massive wave it's a tidal wave dear god i try to run i try to run but my feet they just they just squelch they just squelch into the ground this is the wettest dream i've ever had everything my becomes god. wet around it's you. all you wet i'm wet I'm, I'm, you puddle, are I'm, wet. Puddle. I'm melting and deeper and you are now in the wet dream that is the suckening. Play the theme. Uh, let's improvise. If you're looking for a suck, get on my vampire truck. Take it downtown, make it suck. Look at it suck in the sucking in town. Go into the town, all we do is suck in the town of sucking in it, sucking in town. This is the best show. <laughs> okay, if you guys uh, if you guys are ready for for a recap, I can hit you off. Yeah, please. Yeah, no, I feel okay. I'm immersed now. That can we everyone that. can everyone please make a slurp noise into their microphone first? <laughs> it's customary for the suckening. Suck. Good. Good. <clears throat> That's, oh, that's you stinky. I covered my mouth. I covered my mouth. I'll, 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 I'm just slurp. gonna. I'm just gonna make a note real quick. <laughs> that's not. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. You're getting punished. That's you got a minus one score in the dungeon. You're not allowed to burp on the slum pound. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting punished in the slum pound dungeon. Last suckening, we met our characters. Amizel is a punk rock gang member of the Lake City Demons in Los Angeles. No, I guess known as the there's Lake no, City. There's sometime. no lakes. There's no a lake. separate part of the city they know as the Lake City. After hearing about an ongoing turf war with the Fangs, a rival gang, Amizel decided to take his best friend Soda and some other demons out to investigate. Upon arriving, Amizel was ambushed by a shadowy figure who was able to easily overpower him and Soda, but not before Amizel kicked a shoe at him in a legendary maneuver. <laughs> the figure was obviously a vampire, and right when it seemed, he was going going to fully drain and leave a measle for dead, you bit him back. Before you lost consciousness, as you turned, the figure panicked and dragged you in the shade before fleeing. Meanwhile, Shiloh is the posh prince of all vampires, always locked up in his quarters at Umbra Castle. 
You started off your day with some reading about fencing and pheasants, along with being served an early goblet of blood before attending a fencing lesson with your uncle Lazarus. You were able to disarm him using the tactics you read about in mortal books, but upon a request for round two, you were handily defeated by his vampiric powers. You then snuck out of your room under the guise of a bathroom moopoo trip, uh, <laughs> slipping into the queen's study and manipulating a guard into breaking open a locked cabinet and stealing the documents inside. You learned that the queen had been keeping tabs on a place in Los Angeles, an auto repair shop called No Breaks. Then your mother, the vampire queen, appeared, took those documents back, dominated you to never be able to speak of them, and grounded you indefinitely. Yeah, um, we actually called it No Breaks because the measles cuts all the breaks. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You get them to keep coming, but well, actually, I guess they wouldn't because they die. <laughs> well, they usually die. They just right? die. But we're somehow still in those. <laughs> if they try and pull back into the back wall of the of the thing is just <laughs> annihilated because everyone pulling in just slams into it. Aaron's a lot of money. He would be surprised. Yeah. Uh, in a fury, you dominated back your guards and strolled straight to the darkened door, a magical gateway capable of instant travel and stepped through to Los Angeles, but not before brainwashing one of your guards named Grefgore and taking him with you. The goat. Goat the goat. I love him. At the same time, a new vampire was arriving in the city, Arthur Bennett. You hitched a ride with a hillbilly into the suburbs where you scouted for a place to feed. Unfortunately, you weren't able to secure a completely safe meal, but you forced your way into a nice house, wrapped your victim in shadows, and drank his blood from your flask while you recited a list of names from a special book. Upon exiting, you waited to see who noticed your ritual as you felt something watching you and were met with the sheriff, Deacon Keller. You exchanged words and he told you he'd be able to help you with your goals here if you proved your worth to the city and took care of a masquerade breach on the outskirts of LA. Taxiing over to the location, you met Shiloh who strided out of a doorway of shadow and a measle who immediately attacked you out of suspicion of being his sire. You both stopped fighting just in time to see Jeffrey, the measle's father, come down the stairs of No Break's auto repair shop to witness Shiloh and Grefgore playing dead, holding stakes to their chests. And that is where we are now. Can we just like start from where where my dad? Yeah. Yep, absolutely. So you guys are all, were you all in the auto repair shop? I think that Arthur wasn't, but okay. uh, a measle just walked in with a, like a thing of oil. I uh, actually sat, yeah, I didn't go in yet. I sat back and watched first. Okay. I right. said Excellent. I wasn't going to do anything all right. yet. Shilo definitely is on the ground. I'm going to the assess the situation. Shiloh. Yep. Shiloh. All right. Shiloh, 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 you're Shiloh. currently with Grefcore playing down on the ground. Jeffrey has just walked down the stairs and seen this. Amizel, you rush in and watch this site. And Arthur, you are still hanging out outside. What do you guys do? May I heighten every sense now to just double check that there is no one else around in this area? Yes. Go ahead. What role is that? Does it say or no? That's probably perception and alertness, and the difficulty is I either lowered by two, which is my auspex rating, or I get to add two. It's up to you, to my dice roll. Okay. Go ahead and lower the difficulty by two. So four successes. Four successes. Nice. On four successes, you heighten all of your senses, hearing, deep smell, breath. sight. You take a deep breath, kind of focus in on the environment around you and immediately hear something creak on a rooftop <laughs> above you. And there's a guy and he sneezes. Uh, no. <laughs> you hear something, <laughs> you get another one? Start no, up in there? Okay. You hear something creak on a rooftop above you and you see a figure peering over that uh, instantly lurches back as it appears he uh, is noticed. And the next thing that you pick up with four successes is your ear kind of twitches as you turn over to a windowsill and see perched in it with its tail kind of flicking back and forth. Uh, not Elgato Void, not your cat, but a gray cat with yellow eyes, just sort of watching. And I assume you would probably hear inside the shop too with a... You'd also hear the scuffle going on in there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know, his old man just comes downstairs and he just looks at him and he says, ah, come on, old man. Couldn't you just trust me for once? Can I gauge that the one perched up. I don't know if there's, if there's, is there insight in here? I'm just trying to think like, when I see that uh -huh. my care, my, like my brain, my vampire brain okay. thinks this person is here to assess how I handle the situation. Um, I'm not going to make you roll for it. That's, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. You get that, you get that intuition. Yeah. Okay. Then I, I do start to head into the Great. The breaks. I don't pay him any mind. Um, yeah, I hope you I scare the shit out of him by noticing him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he seems. I mean, he like lurches back really quick. You weren't supposed to, but you did. Yeah, you you say this to Jeffrey. <sighs> Listen, Jeffrey, if you're feeling smart, you're gonna go back upstairs and forget what you saw. 
<laughs> that is no way to talk to your father, son. All right, I raised you, and we are close. <laughs> Weird ghoul boy. Weird little pasty ghoul boy. I look over to Grefcore. I am. What do we do? I think they hear us. My my prince, I'm at your command. Um, um, we play dead. No, we pretend to be dead. Just stay. Okay, here. so continue to be dead, yes, my prince. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, but we have spoken now. We have to, okay, all right. They're, they're able to hear us. Okay, we must make a vampire yes. death cry, my prince. Um, uh, yeah, these are uh, um, exchange students. Well, can you exchange them for better ones, Amazel? No, I don't make that choice. Okay, well, it is late, late, late in the night, so are you supposed to be watching over them or something? Did you tell them we could house them? Yeah, actually, that's exactly <laughs> what I did. <laughs> okay, all right, that's going to be a roll. Uh, what are you trying to use here? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just I'm just asserting authority by making choices without his consent. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are you trying to basically convince him that you... I don't know. You I don't just have, want you to, like, to roll if you don't want. What do you, what's, your like what's your goal a, here? It's more of like a aggression trying to get him to concede kind of thing. Intimidation, I guess, maybe. Okay. Go ahead and give me, in that case, let's say manipulation plus intimidation. Okay. Uh, And it's a six, I'll, right? have him, I'll have him roll two in a fatherly way. Oh, yeah. very fatherly. You're yeah. looking for successes uh, I got here. two successes off of that. I'm a little worried. Right. I don't think we're actually dead. <laughs> okay. He gets uh, he gets two as well. Oh. Um, so you guys are just kind of at a standstill on this. Yeah. He just said, okay, well, that's great, a measle, but you didn't tell me anything about this. If they're staying with us, we got to put them to work just like you. Hey, buddy, can you work on cars? You ever seen one of these <laughs> iron beasts you'll, before? You look over and Shiloh is... Just sitting there holding the snake to his <laughs> chest, shaking violently. I mean, so where the fuck are these guys from? Um, like... Usually a country. <laughs> Europe. Makes sense to me. <laughs> if I can enter now, I, I'd like to. Is there any shadow in this room? Yeah, I mean, it's nighttime. He's kind of turned on like that sort of a light that a uh, pretty bright one that illuminates this whole garage. Okay, horrifyingly, his shadow disconnects from his feet, stands up behind him, and then puts him in like a full Nelson. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, I'll spin a blood point to shadow play oh, here. Okay. And just kind of cover his whole entire face with his own shadows. Yeah, hand. you see as he, as, he, as he starts to say, they get one night with us and I'm having a talk with... <laughs> Just gets oh. smothered by his own shadow and I guess like dragged into a wall. <laughs> hey, I had that handled. You see his eyes widen, obviously, as he's now being choked. I'll out. let him watch. I'll let him watch. Okay. But his mouth and his mouth needs to be covered. So okay, he sounds speak. good. So yeah, he, it sounds like he's still like talking, but it's so muffled you can barely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what's more suspicious, huh? The two exchange students or or shadow strangling him, huh? Boy, how long? What? How long has it been since you've turned? <sighs> He, like, counts on his fingers. Oh, two, three days, maybe. And the one who turned you? Or they near? Well, if I knew that, let's just say it wouldn't be pretty. He kind of clenches his fists at the thought of it. I would like to start inching. You like, do not move. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Sorry. Because the second I find that motherfucker, he's dead. <sighs> what a pain. All right. Because you're new, I'll do you a favor. As you were abandoned by the one who turned you, and it is their duty to teach you all of these things. The vampire society, that is what you are now, in case it wasn't clear. Listen, I didn't sign up for any fucking school lessons. Yeah, that's fine, but if you don't follow these rules, you will get killed by every vampire in the city. They can try. There is nothing stronger than a group of vampires with the same goal. Especially if that goal is to kill one of their own kind, as it's not typically allowed. Um, excuse me, I I believe I am Could controlling you just wait a second. Yes, sorry. No, I want to know this guy's story. Why the hell is he pretending to be dead in my shop? I am. Um... Uh, how about we deal with your father first? Okay, well, what do you suggest? You, you've got him in a fucking Nelson hold right now. Rule number one of being a vampire, if you don't want to get killed by them. Mortals, uh, humans, they aren't allowed to... Know of our nature. He's just watching you with wide eyes. <laughs> so, <it's not> covered. <laughs> so you have a few options. What? If this human is allowed to live, he'll be breaking what is called the masquerade. A tradition, if you will. As I just said, where humans can't know. There is something I can do. 
uh, do to... All right, whatever. Uh, Just kill him, then. Doesn't remember. That is one option. Okay. I mean... Uh, oh boy, can you stand up? He looks so pissed at you. <laughs> so fucking mad. I slowly start to... Now he's kind of a up. jackass. Um... You see Shiloh get up and just kind of like brush off the dirt and... You don't even have to. Gravcore brushes it off for you. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. My prince. He removes his stake. Stay clean, my prince. You can see he's standing very, very like upright and, and posh and kind of holds his hands at his midsection. I can fix, if that's all right. Elaborate. Um, it's like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's like I, I go up and I... Tell him something happened, then he will believe it. Well, boy, he is kind of gullible. You are in luck, then, because that is one of our options. Some vampires possess the capability to rewrite the mind of a mortal. And if this one has such study in a discipline, then your father will simply forget that we were ever here. And he will live, and we will leave. How did you do that thing with your shadow? It's very <laughs> scary. It's like grabbed him and pulled him away. Or you could kill him. You might gain favor by doing so. Or if um, a mortal drinks your blood, a vampire's blood, they become your servant in a way. Not quite a vampire. Not quite a human. Since this is your father and your problem, you are free to choose. And once this problem has been fixed, I suggest you find your sire. Trust me. I've been trying. Could I actually just ask a quick question? To me or Gruffcore? Just to you. Okay. Just to you. Um, <laughs> there was somebody in the castle who yes. had the same kind of shadow There was. Things. And I had it written down in my other notes. I don't have Do you want to know the access name? to that document. Could you tell me that name again? The name of that person is, you know their position yes. is Primogen. And you know their name is Orpheus Shaw. Orpheus. Orpheus. Mor Orpheus. Morpheus. Morpheus. And his position is what would that what would that be in like right below the queen. Okay. Yeah. You'd know that stuff. You would know that that's that's his his clan's whole thing. Uh the Lasombra clan is Lasom using darkness. Okay. Yeah. Another rule as to why I'm here is I'm new to the city. There are vampires in power. I have to I suppose we all are supposed to make introductions and when i did they sent me to deal with you so once you deal with this i can make my leave this guy knows his shit my prince i don't think anyone has to deal with anyone I, i'm pretty sure we can just so what do you want to do change the member <laughs> sorry <laughs> grafkirk gives you a bat on the back <laughs> thank you Hurry, we don't have all night. He's so big and dark and scary. I feel like you're powerful, my prince. You must assert yourself, like my he's prince. Going to pick me up and turn me into so a ball. Earn your, earn, your, earn your throne, my prince. Say who you say who you are. You, um, I am you're so I, powerful, I, my prince. I love you. I, Listen, I've lived with this guy my whole life. He's always kind of been a piece of shit to me. So do what you want. I couldn't care any less. But if you're making me choose between my well-being and his, then I'm always going to choose me. Besides, I can't do any of that mind shit anyways. Well, unless maybe we don't kill and, anyone. Uh, I think... See, he pulls, pulls out a small horn. <laughs> Excuse me, everyone. The uh, prince Jesus. The prince is speaking. <laughs> what? Um, Who? <clears throat> I want to intimidate him. The guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you do? What do you do to intimidate him? Yeah, I pulls out him, a small horn. I give Does him, that? Rolls out a little carpet in front of him. I give him the stare. Like, do that again. <laughs> Go ahead and roll me uh, appearance plus intimidation. That is all my dice. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, How many successes? Five. What if he rolls really, really? No, he doesn't. Okay. Yeah, he kind of, uh, <laughs> he sort of slinks away. Lead the way, my prince. <laughs> I, I, I'll step up and stand in front of him. You. Uh -oh. I, I just cut you off instantly. <laughs> I go to open my mouth and he immediately shuts. <laughs> you said you can erase people's memories, yeah? Well, it, it is more like I, I take the memories and I turn them into something else. Okay. Kind of. Cool. It's like something like, like I am Prince Shiloh. Uh, Beth Roy. Mm, cool, whatever. So you can change his memories. So can you f delete this, right? Can you on how he also get rid of me? What? From his memories. 
Would I get like a closer look at Emizel at this point? Yeah, I'm like really, dark? I'm like face to face. Yeah, with you. I mean, it's it's Jeffrey turned on the light in here, so you're kind of under this bright luminescent uh, garage light that's sort of meant to you know shine and and let you see across the whole workspace. So yeah, I'd say you could get a pretty clear look under the pale light. I'm watching them both intently. You would definitely see that we look. Oh, I know. Yeah, I got it. Incredible. I'm, I'm watching. Um, Emizo in very intently to see what he chooses to do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Listen, this guy's a jackass. He has been my entire fucking life. But I don't think he deserves to die. So Okay then. You are on the same thing. get rid of his memories of this of me. That way I can head off and learn how to be a vampire or some shit, and he doesn't start putting me on milk cartons. I don't know if I can I think take you out of his memories. It's more like can, I can can change some of them. It's it's not like I can take. How long have you been there? Probably since I was like a very young. Since you were born, right? Yeah, <laughs> not like born necessarily. I think it was like oh. a couple months into my life. Since you, as far as you can remember. I mean, as long as I can remember. Your whole life, yeah. Well, I mean, maybe I can change like a Tuesday, but I I can't take eighteen years. And then kill me, in his memories. Oh. Right, I don't know if that that is so do a whole thing here, my prince. Good are you then? You can alter memories, but you can't alter them enough. Like, uh, all right, um, <clears throat> let me try a little <laughs> something here. Please don't grab me with your tentacles. Whatever he remembers, a vampire cannot be in it. Surely you understand. Yes, um, I'll walk up to him. Yes, my random scary guy. Um, <laughs> you walk up to him. Here's... Are you going to use... What I, I think you're going to use? Yes, I'm going to use my dominate discipline. Here's to, what we're going to do for this. You're going to roll out in the open. I want to make this dramatically tense. You're going to roll out in the open. I'm not going to tell you his willpower. And we're just going to look at what you get. And I'm going to make a note. But you do your, you say whatever you, you want him to well, remember, what your goal is. The thing with the forgetful mind is I, depending on the success, I can either take away memories or change them. Just tell me what you're aiming to do, and then we'll, we'll base it on that. I am now going to roll okay. my dice. Okay. Let me, I'm going to come over and look at them. Oh, shit. I'm going to come over and look. I would like to look at them as well, can I? No. Probably not. God fucking damn it. God fucking yes, damn it. This game is, uh, is a bit... Let, let us both roll, Grizzly, and we can look at our own dice. <laughs> <laughs> I did great. I rolled four. I rolled two threes. <laughs> as long as I don't, like, try, like, explain a whole scene of a memory, and then you go, okay, but it didn't... It wasn't um, there, so... Ba- no, treat, it, treat it like you're telling him what to remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I now I know. Have I, you ever seen the Vampire Diaries? No. Oh, man. Picture it almost like you're putting him under, you know, he, this is what happened. This is what you remember. So go for um, it. Okay. I'll kind of walk up to him and move around the the shadows very carefully. And hello, Mr. Um, what is his name? Uh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Um, Jeffrey, tonight you walk down because you heard the sound and you opened it up and it was a little rabbit that was running around and you tried to chase it and you got a little annoyed with it and you and you saw it run out and the shop got a little messed up but then you decided to go back upstairs and have a good night to yourself and Amizel's looking at you your night ended like expectingly okay <laughs> okay no, that would, that, if that works it should make him forget tonight you do that to him and you see as his eyes sort of roll back, he looks at you again. They come back after you say all this to him. And then he sort of reaches up at his throat for a second. And then his eyes roll back again and he falls over unconscious from the shadows. Perfect. Just down right. on the floor. That is probably the best I can do. Does he know if it worked? Uh, it looked like you went into a trance. The problem is if it either lasts a day or permanently. <laughs> oh. That's you awkward. don't know. You don't know. That's awkward. I think I think it's permanent. I think just based off of like it's possible. Well, well, no, yeah, probably. We'll see. Uh, I guess I'll let the shadows dissipate. Okay. Yep. They sort of form back again, just into his shadow over his body now, slumped on the floor. Is that all okay now? Are we <sighs> more comfortable? 
comfortable, comfortable. Whether or not he has memory later is none of our concern, as it is out of our control. I don't want to break the masquerade. I, I... So would it not be better to just kill him? Well, not every mortal that deserves to die. I don't think that. People may ask questions as well, my prince. And mind you, this guy's kind of a quack. Conspiracy a theorist, quack? you know, like... like a, a duck, like a, a duck, duck, my prince. Like yes, a duck? that's correct. Yeah, All right. like a duck. You know what those are? Like a, f- like a pheasant? No. What the hell's a pheasant? Never mind. <laughs> you are very familiar. Do I know you? Have you? Have we met before? He just kind of raises an eyebrow at you. No, I've never seen anybody like you in my life. Now, don't mind. I'm gonna put this guy in bed quickly, and I'm gonna like drag him up. The <laughs> okay, bonk, 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 bonk on every single stairs. Head. As he drags him up, I'm oh, like watching oh, oh, him go oh. up, completely terrified to turn around and see Arthur standing behind. Okay. Like I won't, I won't look at him. Yeah. Wait, did, does he leave us alone? I'm upstairs, so yeah, 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 he would. Arthur, with your heightened senses, you turn and see just like at the basically corner of the shop that gray uh, cat again watching this and as he's dragging uh, Jeffrey's body upstairs this gray cat kind of twirls and flicks its tail and walks out away from where you can see it. Can I have um, my cat go converse with that one? (laughs) Yeah of course your cat runs off. Um, Actually Shiloh can you also give me a wits and alertness real quick Five. Just one. Just one. No okay nothing. You don't notice anything. I say to Void, my kitty, would you mind telling that one that the human is dealt with and that this fledgling is not responsible for breaking the masquerade, but is the sire that left them alone? Meow. And then hurry back. Meow. (laughs) Void uh, scurries off to follow. Prince. Up. He doesn't turn around yet. You can, with your heightened senses, you can hear him trembling. <laughs> I, uh, I can't tell. Can I? The bones crattling. Can I roll to see if I hear them from upstairs? I have acute hearing as well. Have you heard them talking? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. No, I talk pretty quietly. <laughs> I'm going to say this isn't too hard. Um, are you actively listening for them? Yeah, I'd be listening. For okay. Sure. Yeah, I'm curious about right. these guys. Yeah, give me perception plus alertness. Sure. Okay. Can my uh, hide says minus two difficulty. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You can't hear him <laughs> hearing. Someone listen. So, I want to hear him hearing me hearing, please. Listen to hear if it's uh, eardrums. It's my the, guy out, the guy outside is going to roll to see if he hears you hearing him. Oh my God, no way. Um, <laughs> so you said what, what, perception plus? Perception and alertness. Alertness? Okay, yeah, that's yeah, six. Six. I have four. Cause I, four no, successes? Three, never mind. Three, three, yeah, three. you can hear them. Just kind of shakily. Uh, you hear. Are you from the, uh, the La Sombra clan? I noticed that the darkness that you use, it, it is very similar to um, someone I know. It's terrifying. And who is that? It, uh, Orpheus Shaw, if you know. He's the, the primogen. One of them. Right. Um, so you are Sombra. Does your mother know you're away from home? Uh, um, um, he just like stumbles. <laughs> are, are you you going, should be careful here then. Are, are you going to tell her where I am? There is a lot of venture in Los Angeles. And if you're trying to avoid, well, it will be difficult. He slowly turns around to meet your eyes. So you're not going to pick me up with shadows and turn me into a million pieces of bone? If he tried, my prince, I would explode him with my mind. Griffgard, please, not right now. <laughs> I appreciate you very much. But puts you puts a hand to, puts need, a hand on his sword. You need to stop talking or we're going to die right away. <laughs> Only one will die. By the blade of Grefgor, my Grefgard, prince. Griffgard, please. <laughs> You're making me look stupid. <laughs> My prince, I'm so sorry. Arthur looks at you. Well, I shall be going then. That is right, you better run. <laughs> I'll wait, wait. If, if you're, um, so what's your deals? Both of you. I mean, what, you're so... <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's the door opening and closing sound. Oh. Uh, as I'm like walking past, I hear you say that. I look back. 
I, I was going to follow that scary one if you want to come. <laughs> he seems all right. I want to like know his deal and everything. Yeah, like that. Sure. Wait, do you like that? I've said something you like? I mean, it makes sense right, to me. Awesome. That's great. Let's go. <laughs> I'm Grufcore. This is no, Grufcore. He is my... He's my friend. My companion. Okay. What are you, LARPing? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, he got you, Grefcore! What does LARP? Grefcore, what does this LARP? Grefcore instantly <laughs> takes one lethal damage. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. You that keep was wonderful, good. wonderful company, my prince. We're going to lose the that shadow guy. Let's go. And whatever beast this LARP is, my prince, I could best it. <laughs> Trust you. I come out. Um I, sorry, what what was your your name? If you don't, I just want to Hey, Broody. What's your deal? You seem like you know a lot. I figure, you know, if the rules say that. You're supposed to introduce yourself to the leaders. Maybe we can tag along. I don't, I don't know about tagging along. I just thought maybe. <laughs> uh, after all, it's only proper, right? If the two of you insist on addressing me, sir, is fine. Uh, I'm not calling you that. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, sir. You've yet to earn any respect, let alone. Surely you have a real name. Why are you trying to Has my cat made angry? contact? <laughs> <laughs> is me ignoring? Would you know? Oh, I'm uh, just looking for her. Void has not come back. No. That's fine. In that case, in the meantime, I will um, look for, since this is a break repair shop, a vehicle in the shop. Okay. That is not, that has all the things put together. Okay, Mr. Brood. Yeah. We're just going to call you Brood for now. Since you're so brooding. That's insulting. You're insulting him. He's going to kill us in two million. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's like a vehicle parked in the garage that looks like it wouldn't function, but there are a couple outside. Looks like awaiting repairs. Well, you want to take a car? To the best of your knowledge, could maybe work. I know which ones work. I guess I turn around to look at him. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Not easy to get around LA. Even with a car. Let's be honest. It's eight lanes of traffic both ways. It's still jammed out. You know what traffic is? I've never been here. I'm <laughs> looking for for a pheasant. Uh, fucking Europeans and their walkable cities. <laughs> <laughs> I do not keep company. Listen, I'm not asking for company. I am a little bit. I mean, I, I don't know. I, it's very dark out it here. It just seems like we have similar goals, you know? I clearly don't know what I'm doing in vampire society. You do. So, I need to learn. And he kind of gives you a little smirk. Like a really shit-eating grin. And you did say you'd take responsibility for teaching me. Yeah, Arthur, can you just give me... Um, you know what, I'd say you just know this. You know that even if you've dealt with whatever the breach is now, right? Say it was just his dad that this guy's done because there weren't really specifics. Whatever he does next will probably reflect on you. <laughs> Actually, in my mind... The person at fault is his sire. That's that's fine. I'm just saying that you were you were <laughs> tasked with this, and you would know that it would it would reflect on you in at least some way. I mean, or I can just go back to you know. You could try and explain that though. Beating the shit out of people, sucking their blood, sucking, like, uh, like that, like that. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Which car works? Yeah. Okay. I grab one of the keys off the wall. Cool. For a. 2016 Honda Civic. Uh, <laughs> the only one that would work. Or maybe you just love the Civy. All right, I love sweet. the Civy. <laughs> there's also a Ford, there's a Ford F-150. I don't take that one, though. I'm very inclined to take I've, that one. I don't know why. It's just very I have too much to respect for Ford owners. I could show for you, my prince. I, I throw you the keys. You know how to drive? I don't say anything, but I take the keys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Are we all? Can I? All right, Griff, Griff, what do you what do you make of this? I yes, take my shotgun. Prince. <laughs> uh, my prince, it seems we have walked into a whole crock of shit that isn't really our deal, this my prince. But shit, what would yes. you like to do? I followed you out here, and I will follow you more. I don't know. I'm very nervous. I've never met a mortal before. This was very strange. He smelled so weird. He smelled like like caramel and and like dirt and stuff, and it was very weird. 
Um. Hey, so you're a prince, yeah? Oh, okay. Uh, y- yes. That's good. Yeah, come with us. It is uh, okay. <laughs> what are we? What are we going? To the ocean? Do you want to go to the ocean? Sure. I'd like to see the ocean. Okay. Well, that's very far away from that right now. Okay. That's like opposite right. side of the city. You don't want to. I start the car. I roll down my window and I just wait for Void to hop in. You wait for a bit. After a while, with your heightened senses, you see on a rooftop Void and this gray cat sort of brushing up against each other. And then the gray uh, cat hops down in one direction and Void hops down in the other towards you and hops in the window. I love cats. (laughs) Void made a thread. I just, I wrote down a note, by the way, because I was listening to everything. Yeah. I just want to mention this because it's funny. Yeah, I was listening to everything you were saying downstairs, so I wrote down, guard can explode people with my... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I believe it. All right, that for the time being, <laughs> until he proves me otherwise. Uh, Grefcore is going to pull you aside before you hop in the car. Shallow. Okay. I'm sorry, my prince, but he, he kind of steps out of the way a little. Um, but just a word of, of warning, my prince. All right. Uh, you have told these people your status, and now they may seek to use it to gain themselves. You don't know what these people's statuses are. What, what Maybe are they good to learn. What do with my status? I don't know. I'm... They could nab you, my prince. I don't want to they be They could nab you. Grevcore needs to I'm... think about these things, my prince. You could be nabbed. <laughs> this well, could be a would, nabbing, my prince. I would, I would be there. Be, uh, be there to would, defeat mortals, vampires, and the larvers. not be very all the same. <laughs> It'd be good <laughs> to be nabbed, my prince. Did right, you say um, larvers? So what do we do? Do we like, get out of here? And... I follow your lead, my prince, till the end. But are you coming in or what? Just a like word of warning, my friends. Of course, I'm not good with it. With this, I've never been put in a. a I believe this is called peer pressure. Very my strange. Prince. It's a very strange situation. Very I find odd, my friends, in. indeed. Um, I mean, just a word of advice from Grefcore. Don't you think maybe if we the crown. are around them? Maybe we can figure out why or who my mother is keeping tabs on. I'm just Grefcore, my prince. What are you talking about? <laughs> right. yeah. Oh wait, I, I can't say that, can I? You can't. Oh, shit. As you go to say it, yeah, your mouth just, like, dries up, and you just, like, cough out, like, dust. Figure out who. Figure out what, my prince? Figure out. Figure out. Hey, we're, brood. We're coming. You just can't. Yeah. Okay. And I get it. <laughs> cool. Where are you guys going? Oh, um. It's pretty late in the night, but... At some point, that sun's going to come up. What's the goal here? So, the leader, yeah, uh, of Los Angeles. Where is he? She? I drive us to where I assume vampires would congregate at nighttime. That could be so many places in LA. <laughs> Give me a... Do we have like a uh, club? Do what we do have you, like a club what like you, a blade? I'm what gonna, are you I'm looking gonna, for? I'm going to assume it's it's like a red light district. I mean, you know how vampires hunt and how they feed. Uh, hit me with intelligence plus streetwise. I got two successes. Nice. What kind of vibe are you looking for? I'm actually looking uh, like more luxurious because I assume the leader would be somewhere more luxurious. Interesting. The rich part of town where most the majority of the vampires in the city would probably hang out together do they even do that do we do that do we hang out together uh they 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 might a lot but you're not often invited i don't usually do this hey you're looking pretty lost no this is all in my head this i know is, you're, you're looking you're, for someplace fancy that they congregate right you're showing <laughs> we're already driving we've okay. been going around this roundabout for the last 10 minutes i don't <laughs> After a few circles around this roundabout, <laughs> something catches your eye. There is a club illuminated in sort of purple lettering is the name of it, Club Crepuscule. And outside it are two otherwise kind of unassuming bouncers that look dressed very, very well, kind of in suits. And you see as they are talking to each other, a flash of white and fangs. Boy. Do you know this place? Which one? The you. Me? I haven't even... I've, like, barely talked to him oh, okay, yet. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. You are boy. You are prince. Oh, okay. I don't get any respect to see this. Don't call me that, first of all. My name's a measle. What, the club? Can I roll something to see if I know anything about the club? Like, affiliation, yada, yada? 
Um, yeah, like just if trying to. If there's like a gang affiliation. Oh, if exactly. it has like a reputation. Yeah, or like what the deal is. Give me the same role. Um, uh, Wits and Streetwise. Wits and Streetwise. Okay, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Yeah, six is. The- I got five uh, successes. Five successes. Holy shit! You have been in the room with some like higher up demons, like the guys that are above you, right? You've heard this name in passing as a place, and you've heard it like less talked about in a good way and more kind of spat at. Slash shit, neg. shit talking. This <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's very much a slash neck yeah, place. Okay. Like if they've been there, they're they're shit talking it. It's been in very very passing, but as you sort of rack your memory, um, you do remember that yes, it's been mentioned. You've heard whispers of whispers, basically. I've heard that place is a shitter. How do the bottom rung fucking degenerates go there? Looks so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Looks so fucking nice. Looks like the nicest nightclub you've ever seen in your life. It's nowhere like the gutter. Love that place. <laughs> fucking gut. Yeah, we pan over to, across the street. There's just like a tra- like chum bucket style <laughs> trash can. The gutter is written filth on it. I stare at it longingly. <laughs> you see some demons like arms around each other walking inside. Why catch your eye? I just turned the car off. Fucking tense in here, my friends. <laughs> Everyone, please be quiet or we are going to die. <laughs> right, here, I'll hey. uh, take the tension down. Um, Thank you, my friends. Did, it, uh, did, did you all know that um, pheasants, even though they can fly, they spend most of their time on the ground because they prefer to like forage in like bushes and stuff? He just like looks at you, shakes his head. And says, <laughs> what? The fuck? You all address a fact of the crown. Thank they, you. They prefer like meadows and what the fuck is a right? pheasant? It is like a bird, but they're like. Sorry, we're in L.A. So I, I have a, <laughs> a question. Am I being nabbed? No, I don't think. Are you worth nabbing? <laughs> My prince. <laughs> <I'm like a laughter. laughs> Probably, but I would prefer if I was not nabbed. I don't like the the sound of it. You don't look like somebody worth nabbing. I definitely do. I 100% do. It's total. Like if anybody was going to be so much old money. Like if anybody was going to be the most old money you've ever seen in one place. Yeah, I don't fuck with that. I'm wearing like what's it called? Like an ascot or whatever that is. So absurd. Yeah, like a freely. I'm waiting for you to like make the connection that we're we're brothers, so I can make a comment on you. But I'm just kind of ignoring. Can I have already made that connection? Sure. It's pretty obvious. Yeah. yeah, you would. You would. Be They're related. Right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make any connections ever about this. You are a freak. <laughs> Grefcore. Grefcore isn't paid to assume. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna so, hold on to it for the rest of the campaign. <laughs> go for it. I mean, you want to learn about vampires? Yeah. Get yourself in there. Okay. Well, I mean, if I'm gonna throw myself right into the fucking bat's nest, so to say. I'd like to at least know what I should. Obviously, I can't be in sunlight. You got a paper? I have my phone. Is there a paper, like a little notebook? Yeah, got, got Is my, there like a little notebook? Yeah, Grefcore nope. pulls out his character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I um, knew he was a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, I think you could probably grab some paper from the dash and just like write on it. Okay. <laughs> I write down the traditions and like really, like, <laughs> like really simple okay. rules. So like, you want to lay them out for him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So number one, no humans see vampire. I draw a little. Uh, <laughs> are you actually writing it down? A little smiley. Face. Shiloh, you know these. Yeah. Because these are these are laws that basically your fucking mom made. <laughs> so. And I say, no, I'm only doing this because I want you to leave me alone. The first rule called the masquerade. And just to keep in mind, all of these traditions are mostly taken as suggestion. However, breaking them, the consequence is usually death. The queen sets these and she is not a, um, generous well, she's all right. She's not yeah. terrible. And it's like, this guy's what? You're a prince. Does that mean you're the son of the queen? Something like that. Yes. Uh, Does that make me more of a nabbing target? I don't want to. I mean, yes, it, it puts you up on the list a little bit. All right. Okay. So no, I am not. <laughs> well, I don't believe you. Oh. <laughs> so. I'm taking a note. Moving on. 
The first one I have already told you, the Masquerade. If uh, one who is not of vampiric blood knows of vampiric nature, it's a big... No, no. Basil, you hear this and immediately flash back to <laughs> massacring all those people, like some of them running away. <laughs> like gra- graffiti on a wall. I am a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 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 just breaking all of it. The second one, Domain. There are domains in every city, every state, every country, led by different vampires of power and different clans. You're supposed to respect the one in charge and not challenge them. The third one is about progeny. There are older vampires, and the older you get, the more powerful you are, though the more insane you may become. You are not permitted to make another vampire a progeny without an elder's permission. Doing so results in death of that sire and their progeny. The fourth is accountability. So the sire is responsible for the progeny, which is why I suggest you find your sire and um, do whatever you want. But know that if the two of you continue to break these rules, you already have eyes on your back. I mean, I was sent to uh, take care of it. The fifth one is just about hospitality. That is what I am currently in the middle of. Finding the leader of a domain and making your introductions. Because acceptance in this society means safety. Whatever that means to a vampire. And what about the the lamp? Right. <laughs> did you actually give me a look like you were gonna kill me, or was it? Yeah, just- I did. <laughs> right. That's all of them. All five. <laughs> <laughs> but my prince. Grevkor. Grevkor. Please keep us alive in this moment, please. I beg you so, so kindly, please. Grifle. I mean, like you're obviously lying. What about, <laughs> what about, what about, what I don't even going, like. I don't even think I need to roll going, for this. He's going to bring out the tentacles. tentacles. But the queen, but the queen, my prince. He's going to bring out the tentacles. Uh, he's going to do it just like the Orpheus. queen. He's going to. He, 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 I saw. Uh, I like your he, angle. He took somebody into a shadow and he was gone forever. Grifle. No, no, forever. no. What if he can do that too? I don't want to be gone forever. Possible. I don't want to be lost. Withholding the last rule for me. Can I tell him now? He obviously can. <laughs> Very clearly. No, it's that. fine. Uh, I can figure it out somewhere else. Please don't. What? Nothing. <laughs> so are, are you... Are you also... No, it's um, not that serious. I just didn't feel the need to write it down. Yeah. Because all these aren't serious. They'll kill you. They'll like, kill you dead. Yeah, that's every You're already role. dead, that's but they will make you like even role. more that's dead. Every like crazy dead. I didn't bother because I know um, I get the feeling you won't follow it anyways. Interesting. Why would he not? They're the rules. He's going to follow them. I get the impression you're looking for your sire for destructive reasons. To kill him? Yeah. What? Yeah. But they like give you your cool teeth. Why would you want to do that? Well... It's only been three days. Are they all pointy? I'm sorry. Can I just look? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it possible for vampires to have like different kinds of teeth? Like, yep. Because totally. like he would totally have shark fangs if that's like. And then they all are. Cool. Yep. Yeah. He has shark fangs. Would I have ever seen that before? No, you live in a room. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> kind of where I'm at. You're yeah. probably yeah, like plastic. No, it's pretty odd. Pointed. Pretty odd. Uh, would I have like read about it or anything, anything like that? Honestly, probably not. Mm. Locally, it's only been three days for you, so you might have a chance of finding your sire still in the city. But, um, assuming they learn the rules eventually as you have, they will know what they've done. Hey, so, uh, different note. Obviously, I'm supposed to avoid the sunlight. Learn that the hard way. Anything else, you know, vampires should be careful of? Garlic. Crosses. Any body of running water, you really can't go across it. Why did you want to go to the ocean so bad? I just want to look at it. I don't know. <laughs> it seemed very... Why? So, like, what? Not, just... actually, not actually true, my, my, my prince, if I may. Just what? legends of old. Yes, yes, it is. What? 
It's very true. I'll kill you. I'm looking at you like I'll kill I, you. I, st I stand corrected, my prince. <laughs> Apparently, this is a new new weakness. These are things you have to look out for and make sure that you don't, you know, smell any garlic. Because if you do, you'll probably have to run away. And does that account for everybody, or probably? I think so. Fire, my prince. Fire is bad. Fire, fire, terrible. Don't like fire. And the beast, my prince. There's a beast. What? The? <laughs> <laughs> the beast in every one of us, my prince. The beast that gnaws, tries to get out. Like and the rats. Stay away from rats. Those beasts as well. You mentioned, but also the beast in you. Feeding somebody their your blood and making them servants, would they also had to avoid these weaknesses? Are we going to get something to eat? You want McDonald's or something like? Like what? McDonald's. Boy, your greatest enemy will always be yourself. Very deep. Everything else. I'm sure you'll take it in stride. Hey, I'm gonna need this car back, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you are so wise. How old are you? You have an, an elegance that comes with your words. I suggest that you... Go with him. Doesn't look a day over 80. I, um... I do not want anything to do with the Queen's son. I don't have to tell her that it was you. I could probably just, you know, keep it to myself. Look, I, I don't... I've never really been here. It's just me and Griff Gore. Always has been, my prince. Always okay, well, uh... You know what? As a favor to you, I guess I'll let you keep the car. But are uh, you, uh, Prince, Prince Boy? Prince. Yeah, let's stick together, huh? It's Bathroy. Yeah, I mean, short, Bathroy. I guess, boy. It oh, makes sense. Bathroy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is wrong with my name? It, that's it's, a, it's a no, normal it's name. Like, yeah, sure. What is your name? I'm Easel. Measle what? Tucker. <laughs> Tucker. Tucker into bed? Like Tucker? <laughs> yeah. Like, talk, I think, it, or and, did I say terrible? Terrible, 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 lowly name, my prince. Terrible. Yeah, great. Lowly, like just common low, name low in income, America. sad name. I'm very sad. Hey, we <laughs> very sad, my prince. <laughs> oh, oh, we have like just over like we're paycheck to paycheck. I've read a little more. I've, I've read about this. You are unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I, I, I can help you. I, yeah, I, perhaps perhaps you can help me. Sure, man. I believe I'm going to be nabbed, Chris. <laughs> Prince, it is. It is. The possibilities, the possibilities are the possibilities increasing. But have no fear, Grafkor will protect you. Could I read the aura of the two one at a time? It's two separate rules uh, of the two guards. Go for it. Um, whichever one you want first, left or right. Yep. Okay. You guys are just hanging um, out here. Go ahead and read their auras. Um, where is the car? Did you park it? I meant we're still distracted. Or are you still doing fucking no, no, no. circles? I parked it. I parked it. Okay. I turned it, it off. Okay, okay. 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 So so we're, 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 still going we're in the, the shadows circle. in the parking lot of the, uh, the, the fucking, what's it called? The... The gutter. Uh, not the gutter. I guess, yeah, gutter is across no, the street. No, we're across the street. Okay, okay, so okay. that's the gutter, yeah. The gutter, yeah. The gutter is across the street. I'm not that me. dumb. I'm not going to sit in front of it's, the car. It's, unfortunately, it's LA, so it's street parking, or you have to find something else. We can yeah. street, park. street park. park across across the street. Street. Yeah. street park? Cool. I'm going to make a little roll real quick. Wait, are you going in there, too? You're trying to get away from us. Yeah, you're going in the same place. This is, like, antithetical. No, I'm sitting waiting for you two to leave the car. Oh, okay. That's what it looks like to you guys, anyways. Oh no, it's eight, but I'm never gonna make that. What the fuck? Writing orange Did is you get useless. Any? I actually I got one. <laughs> I nice. got one. What do you uh, what do you get on a one? Okay, one success is can distinguish only the shade, bright or pale. So that is useless. Uh it's definitely it's, pale. It's pale. Yeah, pale. <laughs> two successes is the main color. This okay. fucking sucks. Yep. Dude, All you can tell eights? you sort of see a you sort of see a pale kind of glow around both of them. How do I lower the fucking Difficulty, man. Jesus. Maybe just ask about how they're feeling, man. <laughs> hey, how are you guys feeling today? How are you doing? Uh, I'll do the other one. That's one of them. I'm gonna say with that roll, you get you just get a pail from both of them. And you can't. Oh. Re. Yeah. What? Sorry. So you're gonna let me like aura perception crowds of people uh, with one roll? I mean, they're 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 two bouncers. In this case, it's fine. All right. They're both feeling the same. Yeah. I'm Which just... is pale. <laughs> I'm just. I'm are just, you I'm... are you like looking intently at them? 
I did for a second, yeah. Okay, you you also see, when you look intently at them, they meet your eyes. From across the street? Yep, kind of tense up a little. I'm looking at you intently, looking at them. <laughs> hey. Princey boy. You coming or what? Math or what? Um, they are good sure. at their sure. duty, so... Sure, I, I, I will come. I, uh, are we going to just... Just gonna waltz in. All, All right. right, sounds good. Well, first, yeah, let's will. maybe figure some stuff out uh, with you. What are we going to figure out? Well, we'll talk about it after broody boy here leaves. Everyone is boy to you. Yes. This is it's not They're very Bouncer respectful. Boy. You could call him by his name. Oh, he, did he didn't tell me his <laughs> goddamn name. I am Shiloh. You could call me Shiloh. Okay, this is Sh- Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Shiloh. Shiloh is hurtful. <laughs> It's not my name. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Are you actually saying I'm sorry in character? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I, didn't, I, just, I just didn't expect this crazy ass dude to be like, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know. Uh, you know, it's Grifko, what, really inconsiderate of me. Grifko, what do you think? Do, could we... Do we follow these people? I, I'm, what do you feel in your... Oh. Admittedly, a little there bit beating so heart. There are so many decisions to make. I'm uh, I have a friendly face. Follow you, my prince, in anything. Perhaps they will lead us to some something to eat. I am very hungry. It's possible, my prince. They have to eat as well. That's right. So maybe this Lord McDonald has rich blood. And my they prince. know something about this McDonald. Something about this probably, McDonald probably, fellow, probably my prince. Great, great There's also blood. Burger King around here. Who is this king? A king may be too much for me, my prince. I would know all the kings. My current state. I've heard m- many kings. This is I'm not not of Burger. He's the king of Burger. Yeah. Grifcourt tenses up. <laughs> I will inform the queen. You are losing hours of the night. This has been a pretty long night. I'd say, honestly, you guys are rocking up to like 3 a.m. right now. Okay, so sunrise probably around 6.24 a.m. You guys don't have a ton of time left. Yeah, three hours. Three hours. See, this is why the queen needs to trust us. I, I'm already learning about this Burger King. May I suggest as well, my prince, that perhaps we think about where we will be staying the night. Right. Um, if I must, I will shield your body with mine. I'm waiting for like Arthur to leave before I kind of do this next thing with with Shiloh. Depending on what you're doing, I guess. Yeah, what are you guys doing? Are we to go back to your manor or are we going to no, like no, that's someone not else's? gonna work. He sees you again. We're we're fucked. Um, oh, that that puts you. Well, here's what you I'm live thinking. There? You're what? Well, yeah, I live there. Why? What? It's my house. It's right, where I live. Right. It what? is. It is humble. Okay, listen. Honorable to live there. So I was able to put a few things together, you know. Sure. And I get the vibe you're not supposed to be to be out here. I am supposed to be whatever I want to. I am a prince. I can uh, yeah, go. And that's, okay. And that's why you're worried about the queen. Not supposed to be here. Um, okay. I get the vibe that you're not supposed to be here. And instead... Uh, I can be wherever I want to be, but like actually... All right, so... So, I'm thinking maybe other vampires can't see you because I don't think everybody's going to treat you like Mr. Brood over there. Why not? They'll treat me okay. What problem will they have with me? What if the queen finds out? That would be not very good. Yeah. So, I say, you know, you look like a sickly Victorian child right now. (laughs) Maybe, maybe... It's never been on anything more on the nose than that. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe uh, we get you some new clothes, make you fit in, kind of disguise. New clothes? I, 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 my wardrobe is very far from here. It's not. This is fine. I look great. Dude, are people like out and about right you now? You guys are in the car. You're not getting too much judgment from the the passerbys. I mean, I don't think anyone's like staring into the car. And when they do, they probably meet eyes with Arthur for 0.01 seconds and look away. <laughs> uh, so it's not. But actually, you could call your stylist and they could get me another glove because I've lost mine. I don't have... Yeah. <laughs> um, are they just not going to leave the car? I left the, I'm, I'm <laughs> outside of the car. Yeah, oh, you did? Car. Oh, yeah. You guys yeah. left? Oh, okay. yeah. sick. Okay. Then, um... I thought everyone was just in the car this whole no, time. No, 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 no. No, oh, no okay. we left the car. Then I just cool. wait for them to get to the bouncers. All right, sweet. Okay. You're walking okay. up to them? I will... Yeah, I'll walk up to them, yeah. Oh, fucking Christ. All hey, right. So, other note, you're not trying to get nabbed. I'm trying to learn about vampires. 
Maybe we can, okay. you know, help I each other. I'll teach you. You can make sure I don't get nabbed. You yeah. and Cork can protect me. It'd be perfect. Yeah, exactly. A mutual, mutual uh, agreement. Do you think there is food in here? I'm very hungry. The blood or burger? Oh well, yes, like who's burger? No, I don't want to. I don't know. Like, I want to what drink. Do you, what do you? Like, that that sounds like it would create a lot of what problems. What do you? What do you? What do you like? Me. Like you, you're looking for some like pres prosciutto, prosciutto, who? Prosciutto. Spaghetti. <laughs> 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 we'll see what is in there. I want to walk up to the bouncers. They immediately clock you. And yeah, and I'm right next to them. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like behind them, like handsome. I'm just looking very punk. -like. Barely, they barely even look at you. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Hello, I would like to um go in there and uh, have a good time. Yeah, they. Uh, I want to. Oh, try okay. and. You do know the rules. <laughs> Are they? They look like vampires or ghouls. I'd be able to tell if they're vampires. They look like vampires. Yeah. Okay, cool. They, um, the they look like some beefed up guys they put out here. Yeah. Okay, I would like to try and mesmerize and implant the thought that it would be totally fine to let me in there. That they sh should. All right. Us in there. All of us. You're 13th generation, right? I am. Okay. Um, yeah, you can you can give it a shot. It still doesn't make sense that we're what, different generations. What's it against? Their willpower points. Two successes. Okay. Ooh. So with two successes or lower, I can't make them do anything like really strange. But as long as it's like a normal thing for them to do. I'll let people into a club. That's okay. Yeah. Normal. They are. So what do you say? You go up to let's say the right one, lock eyes with him, and start to mesmerize him. And what do you say? I just I say what I said. Like, excuse me. Uh, we would like to go into your club and uh, have a good time. If we if you would let us in there, that would that would be great. Okay. And I stand very proper and just... That one... If you wouldn't mind. Steps aside. The other one, you see, immediately reaches for something in his pocket and pulls it out. Can I... And just immediately says, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Okay, so he pulled something out of his pocket. Well, I was gonna say, pocket. I was gonna say, can I use like lightning reflexes and try to like just see to? what he's about to do and try to like interrupt him somehow, like speak up to him? Yeah, what's your lightning reflex thing? What is it? So it's uh, dexterity, lightning reflex. Uh, I don't know what another thing would be. It may be alertness. Yeah, give me dex plus alertness. I got three successes. Okay. He also gets three. So unfortunately, you clock what he's doing. Not in time to stop him but you see that he is about to call this in. You see a yeah. radio comes out of his pocket. Yep, immediately hits it, immediately hey, says, hey, 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 we need hey, backup, hey. we've got a dominator. Fuck. <laughs> and just instantly, that is what he does. And he uh, is just gonna fucking punch Shiloh in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Can I like intercept block? But, did you hear that? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you walked up to this this one guard. You went right up to him. You looked him in the eyes. You dominated him. The other one pulled out a radio, said, we need backup. We've got a dominator. And then it's going to punch you in the face. You, I'm, this I'm, is escalating I'm gonna try to, fast. I'm going to try to catch the fist. Like, can I do that? Um, is, is this initiative thing? We're now? rolling initiative, boys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Arthur's just across the street right now. So, uh, yeah. My exact expectations. <laughs> uh, it wasn't even me. I, I could have been the one to fuck this up. Jesus Christ, guys. Good job. Jesus Christ. 18. I got a 12. 15. You see, as the lights from Club Crepuscule pulsing, this purple sort of illuminate you all as this guard goes and moves towards uh, Shiloh to restrain him in some way. But up first is a measle. Yeah, so. Before I take any actions, I am going to use one celerity action as okay. well, just in case. So, uh, do I need to use blood point for that still? I forget how that worked. It is one blood yep, point. Yep, still blood point. Um, What's so your, what are you going for? I will use my celerity. That's one blood point. I can use both with one. So, my initial move is absolutely going to be uh, grab the fist. Are you taking multiple moves? Yeah, so that's okay. that's like the goal here is I'm using a blood point to All take multiple right, moves. All right, go ahead and roll the... So like a block, I guess, in some case, because I'm trying to essentially stop the hit you're from happening. You're trying to stop the hit from happening? Yeah. Just roll dex plus brawl. Yeah. Dex plus brawl. Since you're taking multiple maneuvers, you're going to have minus one die and your difficulty... Nope, you're just going to have minus one Oh, no, one I'm die. using celerity. Yep. So your difficulty doesn't go up, just minus one die. Okay. Five. Cool. He also got five. So oh. you... Um, advantage. Yeah, you throw your hands up and pretty much just negate this blow as there's this impact of wind as it hits your hands. Uh, it sends your hair kind of flying back, but you stop the blow. Cool. 
Um, is this like an opportunity I could do like social skills, or do I need to wait for uh, my turn to come around? You're gonna need to wait until the end of the round to do anything else. Okay. Yeah. So that's all you can do for now. Okay. You have those. So yeah, I, I I block his attack basically cool. is my my goal for this, and, right. and then I'll wait for the end of the round. Uh, up next would be the second guard. He kind of looks around, see that he's he's stepped aside. What the hell? And kind of looks back over to you, kind of snaps out of it. Next up is Arthur. Can I gather that those two guards do not have their eyes on me anymore? No, they're not focused on you at all. No. <laughs> I create a shroud of night. Where? It's any point I can see. Any point that I can't see requires yeah, an increased so difficulty. Where do, you, where do you increase that? Or where do you put right it? Right at the entrance on the point where this altercation is happening. Okay. What does it look like? <laughs> Why do you look so worried? Because this is in public. Yeah, but the shroud, the shroud of night is just, it's just inky, inky, inky blackness. It's going to basically, like, make it so no one can see what's happening right I mean, right if here. you saw inky blackness take over something in real life, you'd be pretty fucking freaked out. At least they wouldn't be looking at vampires. I'm going to tell you this right now. Gonna be weird. Yes. Uh, and it will scare people. If you were just walking, an inky blackness of the void started to spread out from a point you could say. This is just a regular fight so far, so no vampirism. So far. No vampirism. Okay, so I, you know I'm looking for someone. Would I guess that they would be here, maybe? Is this a possibility? You're looking for the person I think you're looking for? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that this club is actually worth going into. You have no fucking idea. But maybe. There's no way you'd know that. You can deduce that it's probably important to vampires. Oh, I wish there was a way to call Deacon. That's all you know. Because of what you saw earlier, I'll tell you, it's pretty assured that Deacon's going to hear about whatever happens here. You know, honestly, I, I don't really want to get involved. Okay. Okay. So I think what I'll do is, uh, is, there, is there a way I can drive around the corner and get out and start stealthing in the alley? I am a man of the darkness. Is it possible to get out of the car and automatically start stealthing? Yeah, you could get out of the car and start stealthing. And start trying to sneak. Who are you sneaking up on them? The the bouncers. In in a way, yeah. If I can like sneak kind of around to the side of this club building, to where I'm out of sight. Totally, from the... totally. You hop out of the car. Give me Dex plus stealth. Uh, three successes. Yep, you're totally good. Uh, you easily slip past this conflict. Uh, as Amizel catches this punch and rush into the alley to the side of the building. You know what? Now I'm gonna observe, and I might look for an opportunity to just kind of walk through the doors. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, it doesn't look possible right now. That's going to be your turn. Up next is Shiloh. As Shiloh's standing there, you can see that he's very chin up. No problems in the world. And as he gets punched in the face, he kind of just goes down and holds his nose. Oh, Why I is everyone it. in LA trying to kill each other? <laughs> and I, he starts just like yelling out, Please, these people are trying to kill me. Someone help. <laughs> and I'm did I, not, did I not catch the punch in the face? No, you caught the punch. Okay, so you didn't get punched in the oh, face. Oh, I didn't get punched in the yeah, face. Yeah, I caught it. Oh. Maybe the backs of your hands hit you. Yeah, maybe like it just looks like a very hits you. slight bruise. <laughs> he, that's enough to get like Fine. for him to be terrified. He's a little um, I would like to use awe in my presence discipline okay. to gather anyone on the street. Jesus. The attention. Oh my God. <laughs> Christ. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. How does that work? <laughs> oh my God. You guys are menaces. <laughs> So I have an enchanting voice, which just means that people like my voice, and it's supposed to give me a minus two difficulty on rolls to persuade, charm, or enchanting. command. I have that thing, too. Yeah, that adds to this. Okay, as well as, so the difficulty would normally be seven, but if it's minus two because of that merit, it would be five. Go for it. That is two successes. <laughs> okay. So I get two people. Yeah, you see two people across the street. Hey! Leave that poor sick kid alone! <laughs> Start <laughs> running towards you. Get off of him! That does happen in like real cities. <laughs> I remember walking one. Sorry, it's a real random story. I was walking one night to get grilled cheese, and someone like yelled from across the street, "Hey, leave him alone!" It was like like four o'clock in the morning. That's dude. basically what happens here. Yeah. Uh, up next, uh, Shiloh. You start to hear a weird, like crazy, dark, insane sound coming down the street. And it sounds like some sort of demon. <laughs> Is that a fucking police I mean, car? I the police are coming. Uh, uh, <laughs> there's a demon coming. Uh, Arthur, okay. Arthur, you, Arthur, you collect that too. You hear police sirens. So, so my extra turn time. Not yet. Oh, First no. guard's going to go. He's just going to see these two people are rushing towards basically saying, hey, knock that off. And he just kind of... Uh, you guys are still on the step, or you've kind of. Been, well, I'm on the would, step for sure. I'm like moving close to this back, guy for sure. Okay, you're still close. Yeah, I'm still close. Okay, 
I caught his hand and I'm probably going to move close to him because I'm, I'm going to talk to him on my next turn. He's just going to try and shove you basically away yeah. from the club. Yeah, unfortunately, he's able to shove you and you just kind of fall uh, on your ass down the steps of this thing and into the, yeah, onto the sidewalk. But now is your extra action. Yeah. Whatever you want to My take. last extra action. Yep. And I'm going to like look up at him from the ground like, hey, buddy, we're catching a lot of attention here, huh? You know who you tried to punch just now? <laughs> he sort of looks around, some sort of sickly Victorian fucked up kid. Not just any sickly fucked up Victorian kid. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Did it light me, motherfucker? Who did I just punch? This is the prince. You know, son of the queen. And then he shits himself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you weren't being very subtle anyways. I'm just cowering. I'm just cowering. I'm just cowering. Listen, we're just here to talk to the leader, okay? So let us in, and we can get out of public eye. Give me charisma plus expression. <laughs> it's so bad. Give me a... a give uh, willpower. Me willpower. I'm going to use it. To get an automatic success? Yep. Okay. I only have one die here. <laughs> okay, so. roll that die. See how, see how we get... Two. So just the automatic success. Just one success. Yeah. Would combat might possibly end when he says that? Or do they keep trying to beat the shit out of him? Combat was going to end anyway. Um, yeah. In this case... Listen, the police are here. I don't think anybody wants to deal with that. You see in his eyes, he doesn't fully believe you, but he at least thinks it's somewhat important. Yeah. And he takes a step back, straightens his tie, and says, whoever you are, everyone's equal here, and you should know not to do that shit. Do it's a bit I, too late, though. I, I did not do anything. I was just trying to get inside. Sorry, he's new to this whole interacting with other people thing. He's a European. I have interacted with people before. You see that these two people across the street are like still shouting at him, like, fucking stop, man, let him go. I talk to my uncle Lazarus all the time. We are. I get great like buddies. super serious. Yeah. Before we draw any more attention, uh -huh. the, the police are coming. I know. I called them. <laughs> and you see. As <laughs> That's crazy. The cop car pulls up and people rush out of it, just a couple of officers that go to detain you guys. Oh wait, they are police. This is okay. Police are like heroes. You're clearly not around here. Get on the fucking car! Get on the fucking van! What? Hands behind your back! Um, all right. Whatever you say, sir. Shoves you on the car, cuffs you up. Ah, a little, <laughs> little Shoves little you rough. in the car. Perhaps we could talk this out a little more? Uh, a measle, you go next. You see the bouncer's just shaking his fucking head. You can tell he doesn't really know what the right move is here, but it seems like you didn't fully convince him. And unless you guys do anything, you get arrested. I don't, I think I've only read like a couple okay. of books hey. about cops yeah. and their heroes. Uh, so like, Gref Gore said, my prince just immediately gets tackled by a cop <laughs> handcuffed behind his um. back. Gref Gore, this is okay. We, it is let okay. me out, we'll let fine. me out. Been, uh, Shiloh's, Shiloh's already... in the car. Yeah. Oh, he's already in the car? Yeah, he's in the car. Fuck, okay, because I was just... Uh, I'm gonna book it. Okay, all right. Grab Gordon, this is their domain. We have to be respectful. <laughs> my prince, this is the nabbing. <laughs> You're not going to nab me. Bro. Already, you've already been nabbed, my prince. So have I. This is why you don't hang around me, dude. Um, <laughs> Amizel, it's chaos. Amizel, go ahead and give me Dex plus athletics. This is like a good nabbing, not a bad nabbing. If you succeed this, you get away. If you fail, you're going in the car. <laughs> okay, uh, I got three. Yep, that's enough to do it. Uh, you see as a guy tries to kind of stop you and move to the left and right, and you manage to just dart around him yeah. uh, and skitter away. Oh, wait, actually, I have two more dice to roll. I'm going to do it better. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't matter, okay. <laughs> yeah, he tries to tackle you and you jump over him like a football player. Yeah, cool. uh, and it's fucking sick. You vault on him, just run into the darkness. Arthur, you see all of this happen. <laughs> I, I am like like rubbing my temples with my hand. <laughs> like, wait, the measles, what wait, are you? Oh. Wait, oh, I could do something so stupid. Okay, yeah, what's up? I could dart into the club instead. The bouncers are still at the door. Oh, did they, they're you not could, like distracted? You could, you could try and run through them into the I told the you fucking they were good club. at their job. Yeah, that's true. They they were never like away from the door. Like they were just trying to get you guys away from the door. Where do you run? Back alley. Okay, back alley. You're in back there. You run by Arthur. And we sort of look over at Arthur. Red and blue lights on your face as you watch Shiloh, the vampire prince, start to get <laughs> driven away I'm, by the I'm LAPD. I'm smiling in the back of the cop <laughs> car. Like, smiling. <laughs> like the, hero, the, the heroes are here. I'm good. What do you do? Is it possible to like... Retroactively, I guess like maybe not, but like, could I tell if the police were vampires? I'd like just, to know that as well. Just, just give me wits and streetwise. That would be fucking crazy if they were. Okay, so I got seven, eight, eight, zero. Zero doesn't mean anything if I don't have the thing, right? Zero is still a success. Yeah, so that's four. 
Okay, four successes is really good. There seems like they're not vampires, but what it does seem like is this vampire guard called and they came real quick and they didn't ask very many questions. So do with that what you will. I will say I do have sanctity, which means people consider me pure and any punishment I get would be less harsh. Okay, I'll make a note. I'll make a note. <laughs> I'll make a note. Yeah. Um, I'll make a note. Mostly, I guess, because they see me as a sick Victorian child. <laughs> and getting into that club was my make-a-wish. Done so. The wish was not made, and now you New will note, die. bouncers are assholes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you guys showed up and mind fucked them. Yeah, um, I mean, that's not my choice. I would have no, approached no. that differently. Didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> um, I just good, good, good try to save, though. Um, okay, yeah, Arthur, unless you do if anything, Shiloh is driving away in a cop car. Why would you? <laughs> Wait, do I like see Shiloh or is he just too hidden for me? Do you see Shiloh? Not Shiloh, fucking Arthur. My bad. Um, you, I mean, I'll say you run by Arthur and you could kind of vaguely, like, you run into the same alley as him. I should, I'm one with the darkness. So, I mean, like, if you, if you're probably not looking for him. Yeah, probably not. So, probably not. Okay, I'm gonna climb under a roof line. Like, using, once I'm out of sight, I use celerity. And easy, easy enough. Okay, cool. I need to know if you're doing anything. Otherwise, Shiloh is gone. <laughs> Why would you do anything? No, I, I wanted them out of my hair, and it worked. Right, <laughs> in the worst really. way possible. It he goes to prison, he goes in the sunlight, you dead. Arthur, <laughs> you watch as a measle... We will figure this out. ...scurries up a gutter like a rat <laughs> yeah. and onto a rooftop, and you watch as Shiloh, with a massive grin, is driven away <laughs> in a police car <laughs> to God knows where. Have you always been a hero, or did, did you get it with the badge? Let's what start pain. with Arthur. What goes through Arthur's head in this moment? Oh, what goes through my head? What goes through your head? Okay, I'll run it I'll run it down for everybody. I sit in the car, I watch them approach, I think they'll figure it out surely. <laughs> and I watch the entire altercation occur. And there's no panic on the surface, but on the inside, I think fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then I get out. And I hide in the alley and wait to see if there's a chance to defuse the situation. And it gets worse. The cops show up. Shiloh the prince is taken. And the fucking boy runs past me and up the roof. And they're all separated. And I I, can't, I look at my... I have a watch now, I guess. I look at my watch. And I realize that only 30 seconds have passed. And it has gone this terrible. <laughs> and I think about how someone is going to know if Shiloh dies... That it was, it's gonna, it's gonna somehow be my fault. This is all gonna be my fault somehow. And I think I just I sigh out loud and I go, <sighs> "What a pain!" He said it. Oh yeah. my god! And then uh, as uh, Amizel is heavy breathing on the roof, I just want to appear behind him <laughs> out of the shadows. <laughs> what the fuck? Totally. <sighs> Do you know the officer stations in this area? <laughs> That's funny. Was it? I'm very familiar. <laughs> Excellent. I toss the keys your way. I catch them flawlessly, very easily. We'll go get him out. Of <clears throat> and how do you plan on doing that? I pull out an American Express gold card. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I have currency. You want to pay his bail? I believe that is how it works, yes. Will they have posted his bail? Ah, oh, they're dirty cops. Just paying them money. If all those fails, if they're mortal, a human, then I'll just get into their mind. Okay. We must hurry. Sunrise is soon. Yeah, probably better than my idea. I was going to break into the club and talk to the boss. Well, on your go. Maybe, maybe, like, beat him up. To the car and not the club. Oh, okay. I thought you were encouraging me for a second. I was, I was actually a little bit gung-ho about it. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I jump off the roof and yeah, just kind of head to the car. Excellent. Okay, are you guys trying to get there with haste or just get there? Um, I wanna uh, if if I can still hear the sirens with my hearing, then we don't have to be too hasty. But if they're long gone, I think if they have us, like once they're holding whoa. somebody, the sirens wouldn't be on. All I don't right. think you're gonna oh. need to give me a roll for sure um, to uh, see if you can you can even do this. It's gonna be kind of hard. If they're going to a local one, I don't think there's a super rush unless it's super far away. Okay, just tell me if you want to try and auditorily track them or not. That's I can all. try that. Yeah. You gotta handle that, all the going in there and stuff. They per Perception plus alertness, difficulty is eight. They know who I am. <laughs> you can wait in the car. Cool. What the fuck is this luck? 
I have to use a willpower, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, fuck. So just one success. One success? Uh, literally all my successes got canceled out, and I was just left with three and a five. All right, with a one success, here's what I'll say. You can try to keep tracking it, but you're going to need to stay closer, and you're going to need to drive more urgently. Okay, so that's me. Quickly, um, but follow the laws of, the, I... of this society or whatever. Do we drive on the left or the right side here? Yeah. Right side. Right. Yeah. But wait, you drove... Oh, fuck, you were on the right... You were on the left side the wrong... Whole time. Luckily, there were no vehicles, yes? We're in LA. That's like impossible. <laughs> <laughs> that's insane to picture. Just weaving in and out of this oncoming traffic coming straight towards you. I have has no completely <laughs> recontextualized the roundabout scene of you going the wrong way about a round of roundabout for 20 minutes. I have Fully no... gridlocked traffic. That's why the bouncers noticed you. Um, okay. I have no dots in driving. Um, so yeah. yeah, so I'm I'm on I'm the wheel. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Amizel, you would know uh, with your sort of how familiar you are with this. There's two possible stations it could be going to. You don't know which one it is. Okay, but he's got a ping on it. He's got a ping on it. Yep. Part of me wants to be like I know a shortcut and try to get to like the one I think they're going to. But that's a fifty-fifty chance. Okay. Is there any way I could roll to like be more certain which one they're uh, going to? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that. Can you use the one I'm listening for? Yeah, I'm gonna say that if you if you basically tell them using his senses, he'll point you the way. You'll be able to do it. If you don't tell them, you'll have to guess. Okay, I'll tail them. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna tail them, but I'm gonna like tail them with haste. And there's probably We're gonna be. Coming. We're coming. There's going to be a point All where right. I know which one they're going to for sure. And at that point, I'd like to try to get ahead of them somehow. Okay because I feel like we'll have better chances if we can confront the police officers before they go into the station. Probably true. This is going to be a dex plus drive roll. Four successes. Really? Yes. Nice. All right, here's how we're going to do this. This is going to be an extended kind of thing, so it's yeah. not all going to happen right away. You're going to basically have to get, I'm going to say a total of three successes over them mm -hmm. to catch up to them. Okay. And any more than that, you'll be able to cut them off. Gotcha. Cool. So here's what we're going to do. Right now, you've got one success over him. You guys take off, you start weaving around these cars, and Arthur, in your ears, the sound of the sirens gets a little bit louder before it cuts off, and now you're just sort of following that, what you know that car uh, uh, sounds like. So you keep pointing him at these turns, it gets a little louder, you can tell you're gaining, uh, and go ahead and give me another roll. I just like calmly pet my cat Yeah. in the passenger seat. I got two this time, one of them is a zero, I don't think that means anything when I'm do not anything for you. Yeah. They also got two, so you don't get any closer to them. You're still staying on their tail. Right now, you guys are just kind of on a main road. You're trying not to speed up too much to draw any suspicion or anything, and they're the same amount. Go ahead and give me another one. Okay. At this point, would I know which one they're going to? Not after? Yet. Okay. Another two. That is what you needed okay. to catch up to them. They take an exit and you basically know how to how to work this exit a little better than they mm -hmm. do. As they're sort of stuck at this light ahead of it, you manage to pull off in a different way and pull up right next to them at a light. What do you do? Can I figure out, can I glean which one they're going to at this point? Give me... Streetwise. Yep, Streetwise plus Wits. Cool. This is the, the one I'm in the back of? Yeah. You can definitely see me like leaned up, like just trying to talk to them. I'm in the passenger seat, like sunglasses on. I just look over at the cops. Could I actually roll down the window? So I got two successes and a one though. So one of them. So one success. One success total, yes. And that's to figure out like a faster way to get in front of them. That was to figure out which station they were going to, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We are right, we were on traffic at a red light and right next to the car he's in? Yeah. Do they, do they have an address in the car? Actually, on a GPS? No, just like like on their on their car. Do they just have the address of their station? <laughs> no, they just have LAPD. Okay. They just have LAPD. Yeah, yeah. Here's what I'll say. Your one success is going to add one to a roll to determine what station they go to. Okay. Basically, higher your chance I'd like if to, you want to let them go. I'd like to read the driver's aura. Go for it. I'll at least determine if it's immortal or not. Lights about to turn green. That's kind of the goal. Shella, what are you doing <laughs> in the back? Do you see us and wave? You always wear the uniform or, or do you take it off when you get home? Hey, be quiet back there. Right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a, if I can talk now, like leader I can show respect to? Yeah, he's right here. He flexes you the badge. <laughs> I got two successes, which means I get their color, like their main color and the one that's like if they're pale or bright. Human or not, and then the the mood one. You're reading the driver. Yeah, he should. Is there is there two cops in this car, or is there just one? There's there's one in shotgun, one in the driver's seat. Okay, yeah, we're reading the driver because that's who I can see. Bright aura, you can tell he's alive. The color of the aura, 
is a stinky brown. Yeah. Icky yucky. It's a stinky, stinky brown with a tinge of dark green. Do with that as you will. Am I allowed to look at what that means and not like use it no. at all? Oh, okay. I understand. I think it would be cool if just he could, oh. he could tell. And then the light turns green and you guys are off to the races again. What are okay. you trying to do? Um, so you said I get plus one to what? Sorry. If you don't keep tailing them, you get plus one to a roll to determine which station they're going to. Are you allowed to tell me what that roll would be? It would basically just be a fucking luck check. Um, really? That you'd add a D1. Yeah, that you'd okay. add one too. If I don't need it anymore, I'm going to unheighten my senses. Except for taste. No reason. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm cocky as fuck. I would totally go for like a shortcut to try to get ahead of them. Holy shit. All right, let's do cocky. it. Let's do it. What's your What's your goal here? To cut them off before they get to the station? Yeah, so I want to like basically assume which station they're going to and like go through like some back route to kind of get there before them. Okay, so you're going to ambush them at the station or where? Before? At the station, yeah. At, at the, the station. station. Would like as soon as they get out of the car, basically. I want to be there already. Like, or at least right. I want... Arthur yeah, to be there. Probably a little before the station just to avoid yeah, getting crazy. Yeah. Here's what I'm going to say. This would ordinarily be a D10. We do 1 through 5 and 6 through 10, but because you're closer, I'm going to give you a higher chance. You get a plus 1 because that roll earlier, and I'm going to give you another plus 1 because you're nearing proximity of sort of where the where the borders yeah. would be. So, if you roll a 1 through 7, actually, why don't I roll? Oh, you're crazy. And I'll just tell you when you get there. Yeah, sure. But I'll tell it. you that a, that a one through seven, you go to the right one. Okay. Okay. I know a shortcut. And I pull off. I turn it. I take a right. Okay. My eyebrow raises. I say nothing. I'm just I, same same fucking. And then I want you to give face. me a dex plus driving to see how fast you get there. Yeah. Impress me, boy. To success. Yeah. So there's a couple sort of close calls, but you manage to like careen down a one-way street the wrong way, take some like really sharp turns in the back alleys. At one point, you like hit a ramp and go over a dumpster and you manage to skid to a stop. As far as you can tell, because there's no cars pulling in before them at the station. What do you do? Hey, do you have any money, like cash? Credit card's not gonna work here. Is there an automatic transfer machine nearby? Uh, oh, what? ATM? <laughs> Is that what it's called? Yeah, nobody calls it that. Um, shit, I pull out my wallet. Okay. I have some money. I have resources one, so sure they have some cash on me. I'm a fucking punk kid. I don't trust banks. <laughs> yeah, you absolutely. Yeah, you're liquid. Are we here before they get here? Yeah, I mean, I don't see them yet. If all goes well, I won't need to pay anything. Okay, but just in case, is back up. Here's... Uh, fuck. How much money would I have with resources one? A couple hundred dollars, maybe. Okay, 500. Ooh, I'd let you have five hundred dollars. Sure. Okay, yeah, I give you five hundred dollars. That's like all the money I have. Yeah. Very trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking vampire. What are you gonna use money for? I am a, a gold member of American Express. So I also a gold member yeah. of American Express. Yeah. Love it. So you, I um, is there one higher than gold? I feel like it'd be that one. Platinum. Platinum. You have a black card. You have a black card. How many points do you have in resources? One. You do not have platinum or a black card. <laughs> in fact, you look at your gold and it starts to flake off as you realize you have a silver discoverer. No, no, no. I, I've, I've cloaked it to look gold. <laughs> like I've painted, <laughs> You've over, painted it. over it. You've painted over it. I very much believe you are very rich. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Silver so I take it. I walk in front of the steps. I'm going to like try and be in the shadows and wait for them to get here. Okay. And I will not make myself seen until I see the cop. That I, the driver cop, Shiloh, and the cop that whoever's taking Shiloh in. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. How long are you waiting? Oh, God, that makes me so anxious that I rolled that. Well, I would, I would take note if the cop car that we drove next to is already here. How long did it take for us to get here? He took a shortcut. I'm going to say like 10 minutes. And since you've been here, it's been like two minutes. I'll wait the exact amount of time that it took for us to get here. So another eight minutes? I'll say 10. Okay. You wait another 10 minutes? I'll even listen. It's about two hours to sunrise. Nothing. Car, car doesn't show up. Fuck, are you kidding me? I rolled an eight. <laughs> oh, fuck. Shit, I honk my car. I honk the horn. At this point, I, I feel like I have enough kind of knowledge of the city to know that they should be here by now. I return to the car. Yeah, so bad news. They went to Third Street. <laughs> yeah. They went to Southeast. You guys tried to cut them off at Southwest. I'll be sure to tell the queen that if her son dies. No, it'll be fine. Can I make one driving check to get there fast? Uh, like as fast as I can. Absolutely. Dex plus driving. Wow. <laughs> hey, I, I crashed the car. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? Did you botch? I think I botched. Oh. I got two sevens, a three, and no wait, that's three sevens. 
So you got three, three sevens, two ones, and a three. Okay, so you got one, one success. success yeah. One That's success? one success, yeah. All right, we'll resolve that later. Okay, God bless. As you pull out of this thing, do pop a Yui and start heading towards the one that you now know he's at. He's got him. And I pop a Yui, crash into the police station. <laughs> We're going to cut over to Shiloh and Grefcore as a cell door shots. <laughs> and I'm just sitting in front of it smiling. All right, well... If this is how we show respect, this is how we will show respect. And you see Grefcore looks through kind of the bars, like into the night sky. What are you looking at? The moon for now, my prince. But I have a feeling the great fiery orb in the sky <laughs> will not be good for our complexion. <laughs> <laughs> the sun. Oh, right. Um, is there a guard nearby? <laughs> it's so funny how bad this has gone. <laughs> yeah, is. There's not. It's really, really late. This guy has locked you up and basically just left you here. I will just, I will kind of lean out and go, Hello? <laughs> Is there anyone here? Yeah, you lean out. You see there's some other cells, some like just delinquent kind of kids. You even see some with like some jackets that say like demon on them. Sodas uh, in there. Sprayed on. Fucking <laughs> someone, someone looks up, you see, as their sort of eyes reflect back at you. First time? If Soda <laughs> looks at me, wouldn't he think that I look exactly like... I'd have a familiar There's face. There's like a familiar oh, face, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I want Soda to be in there, though. It's so funny. He, he looks up. <laughs> Let me roll. I'm just going to roll to see if Soda's in here. Okay, that's fun. <laughs> Soda's in here. <laughs> <laughs> he looks up at you and says, Oh, shit, amazing. They got you? Runs up to the bars. What are you... Hang on a second. I like cower. I shriek back. Please don't hurt me. I don't want to be nabbed. Soda knows soda. <laughs> and you don't smell like any soda I've ever had. What are you talking about soda? You look like a sickly Victorian boy. <laughs> Why does everyone keep saying this to me? <laughs> I feel like I'm not sickly. I feel fine. I feel all right. You look sickly. I didn't mean that. <laughs> it's fine. It's because I don't drink any water. You should Good thing I snuck this in. <laughs> so he reaches into his coat pocket, pulls out this can of soda. What are you d drinking? You want some? I'll... Sure. I look at Grefcore. It's called soda. Named soda. It's a little too far you to shake your hand. Or the drink. You look at Grefcore? What are you like looking for? I'm just like, soda. What is soda? <laughs> Grefcore is just staring at the moon, <laughs> waiting to die. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your own. All right. Okay. Everything else. You are soda. That's right. They call me soda. Well, right, so... they do after the incident. Here. He kind of kicks you over uh, this can of Sprite. Cranberry. I'll crack oh, it open. I'll take it. Sprite cranberry? I'll, like, I'll, like, I'll grab it and I'll just like tap it. Okay. Yeah, you tap it. Just ding, ding, ding. I hand it to Grefcore. Okay. What is this, my prince? I don't know. I'm supposed to drink it. I believe it is food. Do you wish me to test it for poison, my prince? Sure. Shall be done. He takes a sip. Immediately, immediately says... <coughs> 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 A little spicy, my prince. A little spicy? And he hands it to you. But I believe it's safe. All right. And I just put it in my mouth and I... You drink it? Drink it like... As soon as normal? you swallow, you see his Grefcor immediately begins projectile vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> just ev <laughs> just everywhere. Fully, like, into the wall. Just, like, blood. It's just, like, Oh, God, I don't want to throw up. I don't blood. want to throw up. Please. Please, I don't want to throw up. Soda goes, holy shit! <laughs> just like, I guess that's the power of Sprite Cranberry. Winks at you. I, I'm just curious about this for the sake of, like, future stuff. You can use a blood point yes. to kind of, like... Digest things. Digest things normally. You can be not. human for a blood point, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But it has to be before, beforehand. Okay. Yeah. yeah you have I to basically use the okay. blood. He did not do that. <laughs> he probably doesn't even know he can do that. You feel this yeah, this he only spicy sp this like weird spicy. It tastes like sparkles. I, um. It tastes like so, like a like million that. a million slam dunks in your mouth. <laughs> and um, want a sprite cranberry? And it feels like that going down your throat <laughs> and into your stomach, and you feel your stomach kind of churn for a little bit. Do I projectile vomit? And you sit there for a bit. All right. You don't projectile vomit. No. I, I am a little bubbly inside. I feel like... Oh. My prince, don't... <laughs> don't drink it, my prince! I was wrong, my prince! I need to purge it! I need to purge every cranberry I've ever thought about from my system, my prince! <laughs> fully throwing up. Why did you try to 
poison Grifgor! So it says, holy fucking shit! What the <laughs> hell is wrong with that guy? <laughs> you poisoned him! I said, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to. Are you guys just- what are He's you going fucking, to die. Are you fucking LARPers? <laughs> Jesus Christ. These LARPers, they're everywhere. <laughs> Keep an eye what are these uh, Sorry, I mistook you for someone I, uh... I know. Close friend of mine, but what is now on further examination. Why don't we just call it here at you having that soda, huh? No, this is definitely my first time. It's a little... What do you think? I look at him. What does he want me to say? What is he looking for? What do for? you think he wants you to say? I go, you know, you know what? I look at him and I go, it's not very good for you. Um, did not make him feel very good. Maybe you should not drink this so much. And I would like to... <laughs> I would like to. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 I'd like to me oh, mesmerize no. soda into thinking he should never drink soda again. Oh, my God. Never again. Oh, my God. No, <laughs> no. no. Oh, my um, boy. Holy fucking shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> I get 10 D10, uh, difficulty is equal to his willpower points, and I get a plus two on leadership rolls. Would this count here? No. You're, you're leading him to a healthier I'm life. leading him to a healthier lifestyle. Do you always get a plus two on leadership? Yeah. Do you get any minuses for being a weirdo or no, not for those? Only with vampires. Then you get a plus two. Connie, can I borrow two dice? Yeah, do we have 12? Yeah. Soda. Okay. <laughs> this is awesome. What's the difficulty? Or do you want to come and see them? No, this is this has to be hard. This has to be this is Soda's entire life. Can you my <laughs> okay. only is mesmerized, right? Yes, mesmerize, here's the thing. I can't make them go against their nature. So <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. This is all he has. <laughs> right, but but maybe he could have more. Maybe it's deep like, deep down he knows that he couldn't be more than just soda. It's like a personality trait, but it's not Come on, let it happen. <laughs> I think it's funny. Roll the dice and tell me how many successes you get. He will go back to being Theo. What's the what's the number? His willpower? Yeah. His willpower is six. I got four successes. Four a ten, six. a seven, a ten, and a six. Okay. Two to four successes. I can make someone do anything that does not endanger them. Alright. <laughs> he says, nah, man. I fucking love soda. Soda's my whole thing. If I didn't have soda, I don't know what I'd have. And he holds up another Sprite Cranberry, and he takes a sip. What? <laughs> Charlie just put water in his mouth, and when he opened it, it came off. <laughs> <laughs> he's like was so he's like soaked dude <laughs> he looks up starts putting his hands on his what he's crying he has to be crying what yeah you oh, see that's... you see his tears they're like almost carbonated he's drinks so much soda he just falls to his knees he, he fucking throws the, the the cranberry sprite to the side and explodes oh, against the wall that's he pulls right. out you he can... pulls out a fanta <laughs> no you don't you don't have to drink that shut anymore. up you shut can... up <laughs> Pops it open, starts fizzling all over his hand, he's shaking. Oh, pulls it up to his mouth. <coughs> soda, my man, what's going on? Yo, Soda, you alright, dude? Bro! What's wrong? Let me have that Phantom. <laughs> oh, you this like, is refreshingly good. You like it, bro? Yeah, it's great. You like that Phantom? I love it. Fuck! He punches you in the fucking face. <laughs> he's absolutely dexed this other guy next to him. Let me don't get hostile. <laughs> it's not good, man! It's not good! Alright, calm. And I want to uh, <laughs> command him you've to be ruined, calm. You've ruined his life. You've ruined his life. <laughs> calm down. And he turns to It'll these two right. people next to him. Don't, don't ever call me Soda ever again. So, so, soda man, you I see, don't even you know see, your real opens, name, bro. He opens his coat like four cans of soda fall out. <laughs> call me Noda. <laughs> call you what? Oh, okay. Noda. Because I don't like drink Noda. soda anymore. Right, okay. Do you have like a real name is this, that I could use? Is this like a, is this like a cilantro thing? Cilantro. Where it just it, every soda tastes like soap now. <laughs> it all tastes like soap. He's, he's got the fucking the meat the meat gene. Yeah, you you try to command him to be calm. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll say it's I'll say it's pretty easy. Um, he calms down. Right. I just don't understand, man. It it will be okay. You'll probably want to drink more, like. 
good things for you that have more minerals and less. That's that's the thing though, man. Is my desire to drink anything else hasn't increased. <laughs> it's just my desire to drink soda has <laughs> has gone down to rock bottom. Oh shit! Crap. Um. Sorry. <sighs> for what, man? Um. Sorry that that happened to if you. If anyone should be strangely. apologizing to me right now, it's Coca-Cola. They probably should, yes, because you are very ill-looking. Which I haven't tried. I haven't tried Coca-Cola, so maybe this one will be different. You can give it a shot. What's your name? I am... I'm Shiloh. <laughs> okay. All right, Shiloh. I'm... <laughs> I'm Theo. Right. Okay, no! Theo. That's your name. That great. Okay. Nice well, to meet you, Theo. Shiloh. It's good to meet you. I'm, I'm sorry you have to see me like this. Who did you say that I looked like before? Because I, I, I just my 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 best me, friend, a measle. You called me a measle. I I know a measle. No. For like a couple of seconds. No but shit, you, really? You know a measle? Right. Yeah. How's he keeping up? Um. He's kind of been disappearing every night. Very sharp. Very sharp? Yeah, like, yeah, he's a he's a smart guy, smarter than any of us. <sighs> sure. Well, not much to do now until um I don't know, dude. If he was smart, we wouldn't be locked up in here, huh? Yeah, that guy kinda fucking left us for dead. Oh come on guys. You know he didn't mean it. He's just got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, you're you right. You see how now he's like Listen, he, did, two minute he miles should have told like me that I shouldn't have robbed blood? that fucking police officer's home. He's got a wallet full of $500, and he isn't going to pay our bail, and you know it, dude. We're stuck. Dude, you can't always count on a measle to show up, all right? He's probably out there doing important, important stuff, and that's why he's not here. Like getting his ass kicked by the fangs? Huh. Not me. Couldn't be me. Never me. Hey, man, what the fuck is your problem, <laughs> dude? <laughs> Yo, I'm like, on the down low, I feel like we should start a mutiny. Yeah, next time we see that fucker of measles, it's on. You guys should go to sleep soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> Nicely right. shanked. Yeah, him. so it, it is going to be Dude, morning no, no, no. soon. Um, I, do you know if the guards come around the, anymore, or is it like they just wait? Oh, man. I mean, um, usually they've got someone outside. Well, I don't see anyone um actually i i need a little bit of like a curtain so i don't it's it's a little bright when the sun comes out i was hoping maybe someone could help me yeah i mean maybe if, if you shouted real loud or made it sound like there was something happening here people would show up and i don't know short of that to make a scene no i mean i mean i could you could do that i could probably make a scene that'd be all right i mean i don't even like soda anymore so what what do i have to lose i mean you did just shank our buddy. No, that was a bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's fine, man. It was an unsharpened toothbrush. He's dying oh. on the floor over there. Oh, he's so dramatic out. and bleeding. <laughs> He'll be okay. Okay. I mean, you so, can... So it's just fully deranged <laughs> at this point. If that's, if that's what you want to do, I, I'm not going to... It would be very helpful. I'm not using any kind of dominate for this. You're just trying to convince him? Yeah. Okay. Manipulation plus subterfuge. 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 He subterfuge. actually came up with the idea himself. I'm sure it's like, yeah. like really easy, huh? Yeah, this is probably like not too hard. I find it. I can't believe I invoked Soda's name and now he's no longer Soda. You're fucked <laughs> up, dude. Will we ever know what the Soda incident I'm taking, is? I'm taking the Soda out of his nickname on my. No, on my notes. I'm gonna fix him. That's this is so <laughs> fucking sad. This is this is a new goal for my character. Fix, fix Soda. What a. I'm trying to be what? Just tell me what you get. Only two. Okay. I had him roll. He only got four dice, but he rolled three. So it kind of kicks back against the jail cell and says, I'm sorry, man. I, I, even though you look like my pal, I'm just not really feeling that pep in my step anymore. I guess I need to reevaluate myself. And the first thing... Probably good. First thing to do that is, I guess, to wait it out until the day. They usually don't keep you in here too long. Yes, that's probably not great. Um, I look over at Gref Gore. Yep. What's he doing? Still looking out? Um, well, he was projected as vomiting for a bit. <laughs> was he wearing? Yeah. He's still wearing, like, basically your, uh, like, the castle guard clothes that are now stained with blood and soda. Hey, Grefgor, could you, could oh. you yes, take yes, some my of your, your clothes and make it in, your clothes and make it a 
This accent is fucking hard. Yes, my prince. Do what? Sorry, he just takes Rip his clothes off. Could you, could you take your like clothes and make them into a curtain so maybe we don't die? Oh, if anything for you, my prince. Um, right. Awesome. Yeah, fully, fully strips down. Genius. Fully, just kind of like puts a curtain on the window. All right. Okay. Is there anything else you want to try and do here now? I sit down. What do people do in prison? I don't feel like I'm much of a prisoner. It's just. I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. All right. This is probably very normal for you. At least no more about, you know, laws and stuff. Maybe I broke something I um, didn't know. I, this is how we show respect. Um, Grafgore is naked now, basically. He's like in his underwear. <laughs> He's put his clothes up uh, over this over this curtain um, to try and obscure it. You don't know if this is going to stop all the light from coming in here in general. It'll stop it in your cell for sure. And you see as you guys kind of start to spend some time there that you hear the door open at the end of the hall. Okay. You see Soda as he's sort of there. He starts to doze off, uh, as do the others in that cell, and it kind of quiets down. Not me. I don't sleep. And then you start to hear a... (laughs) That's the guy that's bleeding out. He dies. (laughs) Um, you, (laughs) You hear a sort of rhythmic, hard footstep accompanied by a sort of metal jangling sound Mm -hmm. on the cement until that timing there's a silhouette standing in front of your cell i'm sitting there crisscross applesauce back like very straight with a wide brim hat holding my hands on my lap i'm looking up at it and my grin slowly like goes (laughs) down (laughs) would i recognize deacon you would not not at all nope you have no idea who this fucking is well 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 are you one of the guards? In a sense. And who are you, partner? I'm Shiloh. Nice to meet you. Good I, to meet I, you I, as I well. I get up and I put my hand through the bar. Yeah, he shakes it. I shake it. And um, I put my hands behind my back. What about your nubile, pasty friend there? That's Grefgor? Just quivering on the ground. He's protecting Coughing us. Coughing up he's, blood. He's putting... Um, things on the windows. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I will protect you, my prince. <laughs> he's, just, he's been fully disarmed. They took his weapons away. He's just like there, kind of still vomiting up blood, looking sickly. He's a great guy. He's really cool. Are, am I, I've learned my lesson. I feel like I can come out of here now, if, if that's okay. I want to yeah. I want to try and mesmerize. I think mesmerize. we all learned a little something tonight. Yeah, you try and mesmerize him. Uh, you, you do your typical thing. It just doesn't seem to have any effect. Okay. Yeah, listen, partner, I think that's the reason you ended up in here. What are you talking about? And he just kind of looks you up and down. Where are you from, bud? I don't remember one of the masquerade. Um, I am from... Uh, what's another place? I say that out loud. <laughs> um, your mind flashes to New York. No, it's uh, <laughs> I'm from. I'm from. <laughs> it's quite all right, son. He kind of flashes. I'm from Mississippi. He flashes you a, <laughs> a canine. You see, is elongated. <sighs> all right. I am from. Wait a minute. <laughs> Remember my advice. <laughs> if you don't want to go home yet. Are That's you, fine. Wait, you, you don't gotta tell me. But then you'll have to speak with the son. The sun, I... Yeah, shit's hot. <laughs> yeah, but, shit's but hot. we've already right. got the curtain up. I, I figured it would be all right to stay in here for I the day. I guess you can find out. Well, if you're not going to tell me your name, I don't think I can be of any assistance. All right. Um, okay, all right. If I tell you, you're, you're not going to, like, tell my mother about anything? Promise? Who's in the jail cell? Oh, Leverage. <laughs> All right. Um, don't please don't tell my mommy I'm in jail. <laughs> All right. I am Prince. We got rules around here. I'm gonna have to tell your mommy you're in jail. By the way, please don't do that. I got it. But if you know who she is, you already know who I am. Who's your mommy? I am Prince Shiloh Bethroy. What? The- <laughs> the Ventro clan? Go ahead. <laughs> said that's so non-confident. <laughs> and give me... Yo, I'm getting the vibe that you are a secret. <laughs> give me an appearance plus leadership role. Ooh, you get plus two to that, don't you? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. This is how convincing yes, this is. Six successes. 
What in the tootin', rootin', shootin' son of a fuck are you doing out here, son? All right, please mind your language. There are children over there coming to important, like, life decisions about getting rid of soda and... All, all right, my prince. Your prince? Are you... Kind of everyone's prince, I guess. Well, if I'm your prince, then maybe you will let me out of here. Right? He starts kind of walking back and forth. Takes a lot to diffuse all the stuff that happened here tonight. I guess the least I'd ask is that you put in a good word and answer, what are you doing here? Well, I wanted to learn more about the, the people and they, whatever it is they do, they, they worship this king of burgers and they like to drink like spicy drinks and everyone in, is trying to kill each other. Everyone has been trying to punch me all day or night. Do the, do the humans know Officer Deacon? In the other cell? They're they're out right now. Damn. Yeah. What is... You don't know. What is your name? Would a measle know Officer Deacon? I want to know if you have a history. I just wouldn't know he was like a vampire. Nah, you wouldn't. Okay. You wouldn't, unfortunately. No, this is not someone that, that shows their face a lot. Of course, they're only a nighttime cop. Yeah. Sheriff Deacon Keller. I keep the peace around these parts. You're the sheriff. And the hero. That's why you're a part of my clan. I understand. Oh, yeah, for sure. I know a lot. I know a lot about uh, our lineage and where everyone stands. Which is why it's real weird that you're so far from the castle. Right. See, I just my mother wasn't really trusting me, and so I came out here to figure out who she was. <laughs> <laughs> what it was all about. Huh. <clears throat> Listen up. You may be a prince, but it don't take a sheriff to know you're not supposed to be here. So, however you got here and started causing trouble in this city, I'm going to have to ask you to stop if you want to stay. All right, I won't cause any more trouble. I, I want to. Or, of course, you know, I guess you could just have someone higher up than you run it by me, give you the okay. Um, what about Grefcord here? He's higher up. Works in the castle. That man's naked and throwing up blood. <laughs> all for the prince, right? Uh, listen... If all you got here is Gref Court to look out for you, I don't think the sun's the worst thing you got to worry about. Well, there was these other guys. I'll look out for you, away. but you got the what the rep among the community. The rep. The rep. People say you're not quite dead. What are you talking about? I'm as dead as anybody. Uh, he just kind of looks you up and down. Yeah, you look pretty dead to me. Actually, reading my aura, you you would. He would think I was like human. It doesn't mean that he, he might not even have that ability. Yeah. Oh, okay. He, but he does. <laughs> ah, a police officer has that ability. But he didn't get any successes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's <tragedy>. hard. <laughs> yeah. Okay. A fucking difficulty Sorry, eight I is just, crazy. I don't know when I'm specifically supposed to bring these up, and there's a lot of them, so I'm trying to just throw them yeah, out there. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. He uh, looks around. What were you doing, causing trouble with the club? I was trying to get in, and I walked up, and they tried to punch me in the face. And then my friend Amizel, he grabbed him by the, the hand, and he made sure I didn't get punched. And then he... Really? Because what I heard is you walked up, immediately tried to dominate his ass. I did not try to dominate anyone. Well, those bouncers don't just step aside. Well, it's possible. I didn't do it on purpose. I'll tell you what. You got a kind face. Yes, I do. <laughs> Can't quite put my finger on it. And usually, in these kinds of situations, it's very favor for favor. All I ask is you don't do that again. That's not how things work in this city. No, I don't know how things work in the castle. I don't know how they do things. But you can't just go around under streetlight well, every... dominating bouncers. Especially not at the entrance to Elysium. Well, see, it's happened a couple of times in the castle, but every time I do it, they just take them and they kill them. Yeah, so here, when that happens, usually we take the perpetrator uh, and, and sometimes and, and kill, is, kill that them. Is, that is me. That's the you. Perpetrator. You're a bit of a perpetrator tonight. Right, okay. I told you in the car. I told him right there. <laughs> I did not intend on being a perpetrator, but, but I understand. I, I did intend to see the sheriff and show respect, so I guess that is you. You are the leader of this little police clan. <laughs> 
Sheriff of L.A., that's right. All right, well, I, here I am showing you respect. I'm going to do like a little bow. Okay. Now, maybe I could be let out, and maybe you could let out my friend Soda here, and or <laughs> Leo, as he is now. And What about me, dude? <laughs> I'm asleep. And give me- <laughs> <laughs> he just makes a finger gun, kapow, he just falls asleep. Um. My friend Theo, formerly known as Soda, and we can go about our day, and I won't go up to anyone, and I won't tell them what to do anymore. I promise. You promise. I promise. You pinky promise. I hold on my pinky. He holds out his pinky. Lock it. Lock it. Pinky promise. Well, shit. Yeah, enjoy your fucking stay, I guess. <laughs> um, he opens up the door for you and says, But seriously, watch your back. I'll keep an eye out, thank you. And if you wouldn't mind, please, just keeping this to yourself that I'm here. Oh, sure, as long as you can put in a good word for me with the higher ups. I will put in the best word. You are, like, the most cool person I've met since I've been here. Everyone has tried to kill me or run away from me. They think I am... They call me sickly Victorian. Yeah, I can see how that might... I don't understand. Happen. Is that like a... <laughs> is that like a... A thing? He pulls out... Uh, he actually... You guys start to walk out of the station, and you see as he has some guys with him. Pull a picture of a sickly Victorian child. Uh, pulls one up, passes it over to you. <laughs> See yourself, basically. <laughs> yeah, so that's where that comes from. Oh. Uh, anyway. All right, that's okay. If I, you want to stick with me, there's a couple other people that I need to talk to that should be here in a minute. <laughs> and you guys... <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> just in a fucking frenzy. Um, I'm like standing I'm like standing outside and I just wave at them really big. Yeah. Did I get to bring Grefcore with me? Yeah, Grefcore comes with you. What about Theo? Did Theo get out? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Roll me a manipulation leadership, yeah. One success. Uh the fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> he escorts you out. But I do get Grefcore. You get Grefcore. To this the is all that matters. To the front of the station. Just as... Um, yeah, we like skid in. Yeah, these, like two, these two skid drifting. in. And he just turns to you and says, Prince Shallow, it has been a long fucking night. I hear this. <laughs> <laughs> and I whisper to myself, You're telling me... What was that? Maybe, we can find somewhere to sleep Maybe you just stay in the car? Uh... Yeah, there's a cop out there. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, he, he kind of just puts his hands on his hips and looks to you. Yeah. Yeah, I'll walk out. Me and me and my kitty. Yeah. Well, well, well. Deacon. Arthur. You know each other. We have made introductions, yes. Great. So we can all go somewhere and find something to eat and to, we can sleep. Yeah, in a moment. We got to talk responsibility. Great. Some of which you took. I did you a favor. There's a boy in that car. He was made, um, he was made progeny three days ago. And did you find his sire? His sire had left. All right, that's pretty much you now, then. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wow. Do you have the authority to just do that? Flashes you the sheriff badge. I bow. Here in LA, things aren't as spick and span as they are in the castle. That's sometimes that's <laughs> shit like this happens. And as a matter of fact, we got someone coming into town that wants to stick around, so I think it'd be in your best interest. I can do you another favor as well. If you wouldn't me mind me watching over the prince. And I gesture to look over I smile. at, at Mizu for him to look at their similarities. Well, fuck. He's kind of like ducking his head, so it might be a little harder. What are these looks? You are looking at each other weird. What are these looks? He looks at you. Is it pretty obvious? Yeah, I'd say it's like uh, abundantly obvious. And I say the prince clearly lacks a lot of self-control. And I am studied in the disciplines. I can make sure that he doesn't get himself in any more danger. Yeah. The queen would be pleased. And I can even return him home. Wait, I don't know about that one. <laughs> if it is your request. Can we at least see pheasants first? I'll make up for the butchery of the first favor. Appearance plus expression. Just one success. I'll even use another willpower for two. Okay, Whoa. two successes. All right. You, you did tell me to watch my back. I mean... I did. Which is why I trust you 
with this new runt. I do not trust you with whoever this importantly dressed person may be. If you want more problems on your shoulder, be my guest. I could go with him, though. That would be all right. Oh, no, you're going to go with whoever brings you back to the queen. Dolly Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. that'll be all for now, Arthur. Oh, actually, there's one more thing. You are doing me a pretty big favor by getting this runt taken care of. So tell you what, you said you were looking for someone, right? I am. And if you didn't say it, I smelt it on you anyway. That's weird. There's something... You're a bit weird. There's something going on... Don't tell the queen I said that. There's something going on <laughs> tomorrow. The congregation sorts. And he slips you an invitation. It kind of flickers in the moonlight. And it says, Ticket to Elysium. And you see there's an address on it. And it's Club Crepuscule. I believe you're familiar with the place. Don't come underdressed. I look in my outfit. <laughs> With my mind's eye. I don't think that will be a problem. Can't promise you can find who you're looking for, but... You'll find something. People tend to. Of course, uh, Shallow, unless you got anywhere to stay for the night, I think you might be coming too. Okay. If there's gonna be anyone that knows how to bring you back home, they'll be there. Um, strange naked man? His name is Gref Gore. Right. What's his deal? He is my... my friend. Oh, he's your friend. Well, you got the crest on you. You got the, uh... You got the royal blood in you. So, you can stay with me. As for your friend here, Arthur, you can take care of him. What? Yeah. Oh, don't take care of him. He's my friend. You, you can... What, this guy named Grefcore? Arthur, please. I don't know him. Don't do this. Heard about you. No, he has, he's kept me safe. I am... Clearly. I am not obliged to accept this. I think we're even on favors. But I do have somewhere safe if... Are we? Are we even on favors? You came here, into Los Angeles, broke down a door. By the way, not fun to negotiate that. Not fun to deal with the people whose turf that is, because we divvy that out. Grab up this guy, wrap a guy in shadows. I saw it was pretty messy. Watch these two almost break down the door of the most heated vampire club in Los Angeles and then proceed to get into an insane cop car chase? No, I don't think we're even. I'm going to stand in front of Graf Gore. Okay. The prince and his servant are of high enough authority to make their own decisions. I did not come here to babysit runaways. Good day, gentlemen. And then I'm going to leave. Get back in the car. Okay. Cool. I'm going to honk. Shiloh to come with us. Oh, I got him? All right. <laughs> You're going to kill Grefcor? If Grefcor has got nowhere to go, Batman just killed him. Sure, he could find somewhere to be. Hey, we not taking Prince? If he has the goal to stand up for himself and use his title for his own gain, then we will see him shortly, and if not, we will leave. What would you like to do, Shallow? It's another man telling you what to do. You are the prince. Putting you back in a cage. I rolled for it. Let's go ahead and drive away. Engine starts. Do anything? No. Okay. You see as Deacon puts his hand on Shiloh's sh shoulder and starts walking him away, and Grefcore is pretty much left behind covered in blood <laughs> naked naked, naked. <laughs> this is a tragic day deacon turns to just like a patch of shadow and says well that's a breach waiting to happen take care of that and you see his two figures you guys hadn't even noticed walk over and take grafcore by the arms and just walk him around the other side of the building wait i see that mm -hmm. He should make a frenzy roll. <laughs> I should. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Totally. Um, this is your best friend. <laughs> go ahead and give me a self-control roll. Wait, no. Let's not drive away. Uh, just around the corners. So self-control difficulties eight. That's three successes. Okay. But great. I still think, at this point, I wouldn't want Deacon. You to definitely see him get feel in. an I, anger I welling up within you. I, no, I, I told you I would go with you. It, 
I did everything you said for me to do. You, you have to leave him alive. At least. I'll see what I can do. Oh, no. You will keep him alive. And I will do what you ask. Or the queen will not get such nice words of you. Well, all right. Seems like you're learning the ropes here just fine. See to what he's taken care of. And then he walks off with you. I'll go with him. Cool. And that is where we will end the session. Well, that's where it's already just going to be. Yeah. All right. Maybe I misread him. Well, that was a good campaign. I just kind of ended it. <laughs> <laughs>